What is up everyone and welcome to another live stream right here on the Munching Orange channel. And today we've got quite a surprise for you guys. I mean, I guess it's a surprise for me because I didn't think that they would actually come through and make Detective Pikachu 2. Yet here we are with Detective Pikachu Returns for the Nintendo Switch. Even though it doesn't exactly look like a Switch game from what I've seen. But thank you guys so much for joining me for another playthrough. If you're excited, don't forget to hit that like button for everyone tuning in live right now. And also those of you watching later in the YouTube VOD, I appreciate you guys coming through. There you guys are. The live chatters, how you doing? Brittany, Ari Noob, Lunar Galaxy, Dorian Gray, Leaf Green 20, welcome back. And Lucky Chronojet, who got first on the stream. Congratulations on that one. It looks super mid. <laughs> yeah, I'm not expecting greatness from this game. Mid is basically the best word to describe it. I believe the reviewers have been giving it like from 60s to 70s, so. You know, it's not horrible, but it's also not anything mind-blowing. The main thing that I've heard is kind of lackluster are the graphics because I believe this was originally planned as a 3DS game and then eventually uh, not ported, but I guess remade slash reworked for the Switch. So the graphics kind of still look like a 3DS game. But Detective Pikachu 1 had a pretty good story. The gameplay wasn't anything revolutionary, I would say, but it was pretty fun. I played like about 3-4 hours of it from what I remember. So I'm expecting the same from this one. The story and the gameplay will be cute and maybe uh, wholesome, but the graphics might not be the greatest. Right off the bat, I'm noticing though, here on the title screen, there's some pretty cool options in the settings. There is double playback speed. Which, I don't know if for my first playthrough this is going to be the best thing to do, but apparently you can like speed up the cutscenes. So if it, if it gets a little boring, a little slow, you can always do that. Uh, and then you can also apparently fast forward the dialogue and there's also high speed movement for your character. That I'm sure will come in very handy because uh, yeah, Tim is not the fastest boy out there. But without further ado, let's kick off the music from the game. I always got to clarify because people that watch these later are like, was the music at the beginning actually from the game? No, that was my own music. Now this is the music from the game. So again, if you guys are excited, hit that like button and let's jump into a new game. Detective Pikachu 2. Look at him in the corner, dude. There he is. The name's Pikachu. Oh my god, I forgot his voice. <laughs> it's so deep. Detective. It's not Danny DeVito though. Danny DeVito or Riot. With my bolts of brilliance, I've solved many mysteries. My partner Harry and I ran into some trouble on a case. Oh. Harry suddenly disappeared, and I'd lost all my memories. After okay. that, I was wandering the city when I ran into Tim. Somehow, he could understand what I was saying. I was hoping they would do a I recap of the first game because honestly, I never beat it. So I don't know I'm if there were any Harry, crazy twists that we need to know about. Partner just so happened to be Tim's dad. But I know that we never found Tim's dad While at the we end. Searching for Harry, but we did find this. Crimes involving R, a chemical that drove Pokemon berserk. A drug, basically, but they don't want to say drug, of course. <laughs> Was he the first voice actor in a Pokemon game? Managed to solve the case and save Rhyme City. That's a good question. I think Battle Revolution might have had voice acting. Harry was still missing. Harry. Even now, the two of us are still searching for him. We'll find him together. I swears it. Harry, just where the heck did you go? Damn, you got the stash, dude? We're kind of looking alike right now. Detective Pikachu returns! So the big main difference from this and the Detective Pikachu movie, and which so, I'm sure more people have seen than played this game, is City, it's not confirmed that Pikachu is Tim's dad yet. 
And I think it's kind of even hinted that it's not. This award to Tim Goodman and Pikachu, who say Harry. Which is why we're still looking for Harry, aka Tim's dad, the main character. Oh, the Pikachu, I'm sorry. I guess that's a sign I better wrap this speech up. Eh? Oh, the other thing is only Tim can understand Pikachu, just like in the movie. Wearing the iconic red hoodie. You couldn't have picked a worse time to doze off. Our no, boy's I'm all grown up. Now then, due to the R incident of two years ago. Yo, that guy is so buff. Began to doubt Rhyme City. The white dude, not like the one talking. Pokemon. So to those of you who were affected, I offer you my deepest sympathies. Yeah, honestly, the graphics are not that bad so far. I mean, it does have hints of 3DS What's that? game. A Corviknight? But they did make it slightly better. For me, it's just the lighting. Something about the lighting is off. It looks very flat. And not uh, next gen at all. <laughs> but the character models are pretty good, to be honest. If only it had the lighting from Pokemon Snap, new Pokemon Snap, this would actually look really good. Don't think so. Its behavior is different. Oh yeah, Corviknight. Does that mean we're in the Galar region? Just calm down. That guy did kind of remind me of Chairman Rose. Oh no, the hat! Lousy Corviknight. It just hey. my signature hat. <laughs> uh, my dad gave you that hat. Now he's just yeah, a regular ass Pikachu. Nah, man, we gotta get it back. Yeah, it does not detect a Pikachu anymore. You know how important that hat is to me, and Corvin Knight just flew off with it. What a mess. Let's go get it back. Uh, what's that? The, the way he waddles. Hey, Tim, over here. Sorry, I'm gonna be doing the Danny DeVito voice. Like, I can only see Detective Pikachu as Danny DeVito, Look, so that, that's gonna be it. This must be the notebook the mayor dropped. Oh, there's something inside. The Pink hair girl. Photo? I saw her in the crowd. That's familiar. No, oh, she's the one who didn't look too happy during the mayor's speech. That's my classmate, Rachel. Oh, of she course. She knows a lot about Pokemon. Huh? Whoa, whoa, time out. You know her? Yo, Why Tim's shoes, though? This? You see that with the Thunderbolts? Those look cooler than the actual Pokemon Adidas shoes they dropped last year. We should return this notebook to Mayor Myers. Yeah, but first we gotta deal with Corvin Knight. Right, let's go. I like those shoes though. I actually bought the the Squirtle ones, I believe, but I haven't worn them yet. Maybe I'll debut them in Japan finally. But man, now Tim's shoes look better than any of those. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> oh, is that Peter of unconscious? Don't touch it. Moving this Pokemon could injure it. Hey, you big guy! What happened to Peter? Of? <laughs> it's just knocked out. I'm at a loss. Hey, can you even hear me? No, like I said, everyone else just hears Pika Pika, which is pretty weird considering Pikachu's deep voice. Does that mean it's like, Pika Pika? Pika Pika. <laughs> I can't imagine that. Oh, no. The hearing Pokemon can hear how healthy you are. Is that actually in the Pokedex? I need to track down Corviknight and get this area evacuated, but I can't just leave the Pita of here. Hey, what happened? Calm down, Pikachu. To everyone else, you're just saying Pika Pika. I'm the only one who understands what you're saying. Just in case you didn't play the first game. They gave us the recap and now they're making sure you know. Okay, so what actually happened with this Pita? Oh, you're that young detective. Yep, Tim Goodman. Will Butler. Oh, that's his name, Will Butler. Okay. <laughs> How do you know? I'll spare you the details. Right now, we need help with this Pita. All that wind, Corviknight whipped up, blew it around, and knocked it out. Audie no use the move to help, but it still hasn't woken up. Oh, Chief, no civilian injuries to report at this time. Copy that. Now, I should really get back to leading the evacuation. Okay. Not exactly the craziest story so far. But it's literally the beginning of the game. The kitties are doing good. Been a while since I caught a stream. Oh, what's up, Boost? How you been, bro? Truly becoming a vlog channel going to Japan. 
Oh yeah, dude, I'm so excited. So we're actually not going until the middle of this month. And for the first few weeks that we're there, it's going to be very, very hectic, very crazy. So you guys probably won't see any Japan content until maybe the end of October, if not the first week of November. Okay, now the gameplay starts. What? We got to ask Pete of some questions. Okay, maybe I should have been reading. I guess you got to ask the other Pete of. Hold on a sec. Before we talk to these guys, there's something I need to tell you. Yeah, what is it? Cases don't just pop up when it's convenient for us. I don't gotta tell you that, right? Right. And it's been a good long while since our last case. Well, that's true. So let's hit pause and jog our memories. We'll do this one by the book, all right? If you say so. Tim, this is our first investigation in a long time. Fortunately, P-Dove's injuries are already healed. All we gotta do is find a way to wake it up. Bro, just hit it with a thunderbolt. Okay, actually, that would probably kill it. Uh, do they not sell awakenings in this world? Like, I'm pretty sure we're in the regular Pokemon world. Let's hit up the Pokemon real quick. Buy an awakening. I was about to say just slap it with it, but I think awakening and potions, they're, they're like liquid, right? So just, just give it a little drop. It'll be fine. Hey, Peter, can I talk to you? I'm guessing your pals with that unconscious one. Mind if I ask a couple questions? Coo? <laughs> As in it's coo to ask the questions? Okay. So it thinks unconscious Pidov is just sleeping. Yeah, literally. You really love the smell of- Wait, what? What's that gotta do with anything? Coo coo! Nice strong aroma makes the sleepy times go away. Hmm. You think these Pidov could be more concerned about their unconscious- Bro, he just told you. We gotta get some- Flowers, I'm guessing. Something that se smells nice, apparently. Just yeet that p dove into a fountain. <laughs> that little splash of water would probably wake it up. If you get stuck during your investigation and see the light bulb, you can press to consult Pikachu and get a hint. I mean, the game seems pretty easy so far, but why the heck not make it even easier for ourselves? Alright, yeah, what aroma does it like? The hint literally tells us nothing. Oh, using some kind of scent. Like the move Sweet Scent? That's it! If we can find the strong aroma, maybe it'll wake up, really? This hint literally told us nothing. That we didn't know already. That reminds me. If you're having trouble, you can call out to me. Bro, that's what I just did. And you told me literally the same thing that we just... Oh wait, a different button. You can press plus to open the sub menu. You can press ZL to reread recent conversations. Here we go. All right. And now we just got to talk to this Pete of again. Can you just tell me what, what scent? Is it the scent of sweet donuts? No. Oh my God. Yo, not to. <laughs> Why does he stare at us like that? What was that cry? I'll never understand why only in the anime Pokemon say their own names. Like, Loki. I mean, not that I wish that they would say their own names in the regular games, because it's, it's cool to separate, but in a game like this, I feel like it would have fit to have the Pokemon say their names. Like, Pikachu says Pika Pika. <laughs> It wants peace and quiet while it's sunbathing. It's awfully calm given all the commotion. All that's Zatu for ya. Maybe we should try asking someone else. Okay. Ooh, aroma teas! Yo, that's gotta be the sweet aroma we need. Duh. It literally says it right there. Aroma? Your aroma teas, aren't ya? What are these pedos surrounding you for? And what does the teas in your name stand for? They started flocking to it as soon as it got here. These Pita have been following aroma teas around. Coo coo. You're asking it to make a nice aroma? Coo. Hurry up, make that nice aroma. Okay. The Pita are really getting on its nerves. Seems like these Pita are all drawn to a scent that aroma teas emits. Which means it might be able to help us wake up the unconscious one. 
So how do we get it over there? Can we just, uh, you know, can it just like walk? Do we have to catch it? I doubt it because I don't think this game has any fighting, battling, catching. It's basically a story that you interact with occasionally. I saw that we got a super chat, but it hasn't popped up on screen for some reason. I think it might be delayed. So you'll see it on screen very soon, but thank you so much, Boost. Appreciate it, man. It's happy to lend a hand now that we got those peed up to move. Great, let's take it back to the square. Okay. Hey, there it is. Got a job so I can do this now. Keep up the good work. Oh! Oh, I thought you were saying like you ha you're you working so you can't watch, but you mean you can donate. Thank you so much, Boost. Appreciate that, my, my dude. Oh my god. 10 buckaroos too? That's awesome. I appreciate it, man. Glad that worked. Yep. Easy peasy. We literally just had a talk. Peter's awake! Oh my god. Wow, Aromatis Ascent is. Nice. But it's kind of like a really strong perfume. I don't get why the Pedov like it so much. Coo? Coo coo? Goo goo goo? <laughs> I don't know either, man. I'm telling you, it's in the name. Aromatise? Or is it Aromatise? It's gotta be like a French origin thing, right? Because it's a Kalos Pokemon. Oh yeah, come to think of it, the police officer was calling this big guy Chief. I wonder why. Because he's the police chief? Yes, I'm Will Butler, Chief of the PPB. The PPB? Wait, what is this city? Wasn't it Rhyme City in the first game? Where an organization is dedicated to protecting the Pokemon of Rhyme- Yeah, so it is the same city as from the movie too. The Pokemon Protection Bureau. So it's kind of like the police, but focused on Pokemon. I didn't know we had something like that. The Bureau only recently started its official operations. At the moment, we're borrowing office space at the Rhyme City Police Station. We were dispatched to provide security, but, well, just look at what happened. I can't believe a fiasco this big occurred on my watch. It's honestly an embarrassment. <laughs> yes, I'm Will Butler. We got that, bro. Re wait, no way. Why is it repeating? Okay, wait. I remember there's a button to skip the dialogue. Oh, dude, yes. I need that. Okay, so I needed to press this. It was formed two years ago. Back then, Pokemon-related disturbances were happening all over the city. The Himian and Pokemon residents were deeply affected. Mayor Myers was so shaken, he took it upon himself to create the PPB. He wanted to make sure crimes involving Pokemon, like the R incident, would never happen again. So basically the story of the first game all revolved around this R drug that would make Pokemon angry, which is actually a lot like the Pokemon, or sorry, the Detective Pikachu movie had a very similar plot. I remember like the Charizard, there was like that nightclub scene, the underground battling ring where all the Pokemon went crazy, or went berserk rather, and went angry. That's basically what the first game was about. And then at the end, oh! Thank you, Aaron Samuels. We got another super chat coming through. 20 buckaroos. Oh my God. Thank you so much, Aaron. I hear there's a little rookie D that told me in the Indigo Disc story, the Blueberry League Elite Four may have a fairy type member. Hmm? Well, I believe in my trailer analysis video, I did predict that Lacey would be a fairy type trainer. My predictions were Steel, Dragon, Fairy, and Fire. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's gotta be the one, but thank you again, Aaron. Appreciate that. Do you have memberships on this channel? I don't right now, Cosmetic Fairy. I was thinking about enabling them if I started streaming more often, but... Whoa, hold up. We got some actual story, hold up. Let's chase it down. Yeah! <laughs> A whole 10 seconds of story right there. I love it. Oh. It's Corviknight again. Hit it with a Thunderbolt, Pikachu. Come on, bro. I actually don't know if Detective Pikachu can even use any attacks. 
I feel like I remember that being a plot point in the first game that he he doesn't know how to battle. And also in the movie, right? Detective Pikachu, it's like very, very difficult for him to even get out like a little jolt of electricity. Okay, we got a Spearow back there. I think I saw okay, another Spearow, Magnemite, and Zatu. You got anything to tell us now, bro? Cool as a cucumber. All right. Is this a new game? These graphics. What do you mean? These are amazing graphics. This looks better than Pokemon Snap. Okay, I'm joking, obviously, but like if you look at the portrait, sorry, over there, the little portrait of Tim, the lighting looks so much better than the actual game. Like that actually looks like the new Pokemon Snap. I feel like they could have made the game look like that, but for some reason, I don't know. It just looks all flat and uh, like a coloring book or something. I don't like a kid's coloring book, I should say. What's up, Michelle? It can use Thunderbolt. Mmm. Even in the game? Or are you saying in the movie? If so, this whole plot so far could have been resolved real quick. So what happened here, Applin? The wooden crate shook. You got thrown out and that's when you realize your friends were missing. It got separated. Oh my god, we gotta fight his friends. Dude, there's so many apples on the floor right there. How are we gonna know which ones are Applins or not? I mean, I see one that looks suspiciously, or suspiciously like an Applin. I'm sure you guys can spot which one it is too. But I'm guessing that we can't go to it unless we get rid of this uh, Alolan Executor first. Okay, let me just skip through this dialogue real quick. We gotta investigate. Oh, we can just walk around it. Yeah, the, dude, the apple is literally right there. Can we just pick it up? Like, it's so obvious. The other ones don't look like apple at all. Whatever, I guess we gotta do this, uh... Investigation, because the tree's in the way. Yep. <laughs> we can just cut it down? <laughs> Yo, Detective Pikachu Whoa, is unhinged, bro. Is an executor. Oh, this man really said just cut it down. There's no way he didn't realize it was a Pokemon, right? Wait, isn't this an Alolan Executor? I'd never seen one before, so I didn't even realize. Why don't we ask and get some other questions while we're at it? Okay, great. All it talks about are eggs. Don't all talk at once. How about this Executor? I'll tell you which head should answer. Sound good? Okay. Oops, forgot to say which head. Uh, can we actually pick the head? I I'm definitely picking the one on the left. Look, the one on the right... Actually, okay, I don't know. I was gonna say one of them looks like it's high. But the one on the left and right both look like they're high in different ways. The one in the middle just looks like it's high on something else. We don't want to talk to that one. I I'd probably talk to the one on the left if I had the option. Guess it happened too suddenly for you to tell. Oh well. About okay. you. Oh, the middlest head. Yeah, Detective Pikachu knows, bro. You gotta talk to the middle head. It's the only one that looks like it's actually got anything going on in that noggin. Okay. okay. Uh, can you please scooch over? Wait, there's no way that's it. Mm -hmm. Bro, this game. What? You literally just talk. And it moves. Is this gonna be the whole game? We just talk to a Pokemon and it moves out of the way? That's how we've solved both puzzles so far. Let the investigating begin. Hmm. Oh my gosh, guys. Two missing Applin. Well, I see one that's very obvious. The other one's got to be the one flipped upside down, right? Well, one of the ones flipped upside down. Okay, so obviously it's this one. Lame. The little cry, though. App? Have you been sitting still pretending to be an apple this whole time? That must take a whole lot of patience. Patiently staying still is one of your talents. Impressive. <laughs> that Corviknight got you wrapped up in quite the mess though, didn't it? Your friend is waiting for you. Alright. Now where could the other one be? Is it in the box? Maybe? No sign of Applin. Okay, it's gotta be one of the ones flipped upside down then. There are apples everywhere. 
I don't see any applin. At this point, these apples are only good for making juice of jam. I'd still eat them, bruises and all. Well, we search pretty thoroughly. I still don't see my hat or any other applin, though. Where could it be? Okay, I guess... Oh! It wasn't any of them! It was behind the box the whole time! Yes, I saw something moving, bro. Come on, let's go check. Oh my god, it's the hat, too! No way! The hat's moving on its own? Must be haunted. <sighs> this was a real pain. A pain in the what? Eh? Come on, you can say it, Pikachu. Hey, hey, get back here. You're a grown man. The heck? <laughs> hey, quit playing around. Hey, I'm not playing at all. My hat keeps moving on its own. This I reminds me of the Pikachu. Pokemon dating simulator, where Pikachu was in the huh? backpack. Oh my God, what? See. Uh. Yourself. I didn't know Applin could latch onto trees like that. Get it. Guess so. Unless it's not Applin? Climb Executor! And we got our first actual gameplay. Hold up. Well, Tim, lift me up. Okay. Get hype, everybody. This this is gonna be insane. Just wait for it. You alright? Don't hurt yourself. Please, this'll be nothing. Is it is it like a mini game? From what I remember, it's quick time events. Oh! Mash the A button! Dude! I'm so good! <laughs> Oh no! Mash the A button again! <laughs> we game in now, let's go! One more time. Yup, there we go! <laughs> I'm only getting good though. Is it possible to get great or excellent? Oh my- how does it stick to the executor like that? Like, it doesn't even have little paws or claws. Unless its body is that sticky? Fine and dandy. Nice catch, by the way. Are the Applin okay? Yep, they all seem happy to be reunited. Good. Glad they're alright. So one of them was wearing a hat, huh? Seeing it move on its own really threw me for a loop. I'm sure Corviknight dropped the hat mid-flight and it just happened to fall on top of Applin. It's a pretty crazy coincidence, Tim. I don't know, man. It's a little suspicious. You forget it's part worm. Okay, I know it's part worm. It just, it didn't look like the worm was the part that was stuck to the executor. It looked like the apple was the part that was stuck to it. That's more like it. Yeah, you look like yourself again. Thanks, Tim. Perry gave me this hat to commemorate our partnership. The awards ceremony will resume shortly. We ask that all participants please return to the venue at this time. Uh, I guess we better hurry back. That dark okay. core of a night. I'll let it off the hook just this once. I'm guessing that Corbinite's gonna come back at some point. Great work. Thank you. I actually you would play well, this game. I love the simplest yep. gameplay if the story's good. I can't say it enough. Rhyme City owes you a debt of gratitude for your efforts. I agree. The first game was for coexistence between all about the story, Pokemon so this is what I was city. expecting from this one too. And you two are the ideal detective duo. On but I would say the story city, in the first I one, I mean it was good. You with this medal. But it was a little bit slow, I guess. For my liking. Thank you, Mayor Myers. I'm honored. We'll see with this one, though. Of course you get one, too, Pikachu. The, I thought he was just going to pin it to it. Imagine. <laughs> just yeah, sticks it to his I'm chest. Pikachu starts Pikachu, bleeding. You too, little hero. Ah, you, you prick. I mean, you pricked me. Way to go, Tim. Congratulations, Bruh. hon. That's our mom? What? That little sister voice was not it. I'm sorry. Yep, you guys are all also speculating, or I guess being suspicious of that mayor. Never trust political figures. Tim, I was so proud of you today. Oh my god, please don't tell me our sister's gonna talk more. 
You're amazing, Tim. All right, you know what? We can we can put up with it. It's fine. You think so? Everyone knows all about the amazing work you two have done. There was the Eevee abduction case, the fossil stealing spree, and the Rhine Tower standoff case too. What they happened? Even made a movie based on the R case. I feel like the yeah, mom's voice I just changed. That movie was pretty good, but how halfway Bonnie through the scene. Didn't even show up in it. I have no idea, but movies usually do their own thing, don't they? Yeah, I guess. Oh, by the way, I've been meaning to ask you. Oh, I like her shirt, the little love disc. This is That's Dad cute. Pikachu, right? The movie is yes. canon. He's my partner at the moment, though. Oh wait, they were talking about the Detective I Pikachu see. movie. Huh. Whoa, whoa. I think What's I saw something staring? that you can like re-listen to certain lines. Oh. Wow. Whoops, that's not the button. All right, whatever. Maybe we can read it later. Oh, Pikachu. The news is about to start. I was too distracted by the voice acting Corbinite. to actually pay attention. Yeah. My life in a nutshell. Okay, wait, I think this is it. Oh yeah, look, we can read it. Okay, so... There was an Eevee abduction case and the Rhyme Tower standoff. They even made a movie based on the R case. Yeah, I thought the movie was pretty good, but how come Mom and me didn't even show up in it? Oh, because... Okay, so they're referencing the real-life Detective Pikachu movie. The mom and little girl weren't in it at all. I'm not sure why, though. Is the mom dead in the movie? Yep. Either way, though, in the movie, Detective Pikachu ends up being Tim's dad. Like, his soul got swapped by Mewtwo. However, in the Detective Pikachu game for 3DS, at the end, Mewtwo kind of hints that Pikachu and the dad are completely separate. Oh. It would be kind of weird if like I'm after all this... Footage, oh hey, this is a girl from the first game too. To have caused an explosion. The this Little explosion Mermaid! Occurred in the mountain range northeast of Rhine City. This may be <gasps> related to the recent uptick in incidents involving Pokemon. Mewtwo! Rhine City Police and the newly established Pokemon Protection Bureau are investigating. Amelia Christie signing off. Yeah, so she was kind of like the love interest in the first movie. I hope that incident doesn't have anything to do with Dad. Same here. Mewtwo told me two years ago. Mewtwo's the dad? Alive, <laughs> and we'll be able to find him. Yo, that would be kind of a cool plot twist. Low key. Yeah, Mewtwo is still our only connection to finding Harry. Why do you say it like that? Mew too. Whispering to Pikachu, are you? Oh. You're just like your father, talking to Pokemon like that. Like he put the emphasis oh. on the two part, not the Mew really? part. I don't know. It's always kind of weird when I hear that. It sounds like Mew space two. It's been two years since the R incident. Mew two since two then, years. We've solved all kinds of cases. The mayor even gave us an award for it. I can still talk to Pikachu and understand him. If the two of us keep solving cases together, two people? Oh my god. I'm sure we'll find my dad. Detective someday. Pikachu 2? Dude. This game's blowing my mind right now. I'm still thinking Detective Pikachu is Harry Goodman. So that's what I was about to say. Is that it would be kind of weird, slash, in my opinion, kind of lame, if the ending is still the same. Like, Pikachu is the dad and all the the reason why they didn't answer in the first game is just so they could make a sequel Whoa, that's a lot of whimsicott sure is they write through on seasonal winds every year I Hear they can be real pranksters if they, get ah. they, like, they scatter cotton everywhere because they have the prankster ability. Oh, yeah, I, I, I see you up. Tim Yep is that a Ludicolo coffee? 
He's got like a little sombrero on the coffee the cup. Sweet smell of coffee is calling my name. Oh my god. It's the perfect Pikachu <laughs> bait. <laughs> what the heck? This man ran two blocks? Inspector Holiday, did you finally find my dad? Sorry. No. I'm here on a different case. Yeah. We've received reports of a jewel theft. You wished him. Could you lend me a hand with this one? Someone needs to just break it. Oh no, what occurred at the dentist residence. Sorry. The mansion down the street. Sorry, but Brad is waiting for me. I'll go ahead and meet up with you there. Yeah, someone needs to just break the news to Tim, bro. Much for my coffee. Dad went to get the milk cart and never came back. Mm -hmm. And he ain't coming back, bro. Wait a second, Tim. What? There's no need to rush. You gotta be calm and unhurried if you wanna do your best investigating. Yeah, I guess that's true. Pikachu's a real talkative Pokemon, really? Sometimes it'll try to get to your attention and a Pikachu icon will bounce to let you know it wants to talk. If you see this icon bouncing, press the right button to hear what Pikachu has to say. Okay. Look, I know we need to hurry, but would it really hurt if we relaxed a bit? <laughs> you want to drink some coffee? Oh, here's a good idea. You could listen to some sage oh. advice from a great detective like me. Okay, never mind. I'll, I'll listen. What you what you got to say, bro? Oh my God! What? I thought you wanted me to hear I you. Really feel like dancing right now. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Check out my moves. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Okay, that was actually kind of cute. Whoa. Oh man, we don't got time for coffee. Alright, fine. See, apparently if I hold down the ZR. Whoa! Yo! Tim's on super speed, bro. That's crazy because like his legs don't actually move faster. He just glides across the, the level faster. That's pretty cool though. Well, the fact that you can walk faster for impatient people ah. like me. But you guys have been saying in chat, it's a point and click adventure game. The whole point, no pun intended, is to take things slow. So yeah, I'm gonna try to put on my patience hat. And uh, we'll, we'll be chill with this game. All right, so right now we gotta go find the guy that just ran like two blocks and was out of breath. Follow Holiday. Indeedy over there, that's cute. Got the slowpoke fountain. Wait, is that an item? What is that? Something shining in the fountain. Hmm? A little jump scare. Yo, that could be a rapper name. Only drops an album on Halloween. A little jump scare. It lights up its spots to communicate with friends. Never figured it'd use those lights to lure someone in close enough for a prank. Yeah, it definitely surprised me. Okay. Go easy on the jump scares. We got Maractus over here. Uh, not even gonna talk to that girl. Damn. Is that a real lizard on your head? Yep. Yo, what's up, Alchemist? He's Twilight running. <laughs> oh my god, my lizard fell. He'll be fine. When's the new Pokemon movie coming out? Dude, Loki? I'm, I, I want them well, to do well, another movie. Well, if it isn't the great detectives. Actually, not even low-key. High-key. I would love another Pokemon movie. But that's not related to Detective Pikachu. Like, just some other real live action ah. movie. In the Pokemon world. Maybe like a Team Rocket story or something would be cool. It's been a while, Brad. I see you're on the case, too. I suppose that means you are well. You private detectives do love sticking your noses into every little thing. If Mr. Dennis hadn't requested you personally, I'd be asking you to leave right now. Yep, still a jerk. I'm guessing this guy was in the first game. I don't remember him. And I did watch the full three hour cutscene movie yesterday before playing this. Maybe I skipped through his part, I don't know. This is the scene of the crime, right? Yes, this mansion belongs to Sanjeev Dennis, a jeweler. 
Watch his actual voice be nothing like what I'm doing. <laughs> he just sounds like that kind of guy. I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Dennis is one of the wealthiest men in Rhyme City. Under normal circumstances, a civilian like yourself would never have the opportunity to meet. Make sure you don't do anything to offend him. Oh, and don't get in the way of our investigation either. He's just gotta get a dig in somewhere, doesn't he? Okay, Tim, come inside. Brad is British. Oh. Well, I guess I'm on the nose with that one. The Missing Jewel. I guess that little title card shows that this is our first official investigation. Everything we've done so far was like the prologue. I see. Or like the tutorial, I guess. Thanks, Inspector Holiday. I'll take it from here, buddy. Let's talk to Sanjeev. Is this... Sanjeev over here? Oh my god, yo, he got the, the oh, watch? Tim, I've been waiting for you. Look at this man, he got the watch and the ring. Damn, oh, he's a jeweler, duh. Oh, the growlet though. Yeah, now that we're inside of the building, like, the lighting looks even worse than before. And I guess when we were outside, because it's bright, you can kind of... Not excuse, but basically the lighting didn't look as bad as it does now. Like, look at that Growlithe, bro. It doesn't look like it's actually part of the scene. It just looks like it's floating on top of a painted background, if you know what I'm trying to say. Sorry to jump right into it, but could you please tell us what you know about the incident? Okay. A precious jewel was stolen when I was out of the house. It's called the Aurora Drop, and it's a very rare jewel indeed. The Aurora Drop. What a mysterious name. Magical, even. The thief injured one of my staff members and made off with Jewel. Damn. I guess we should go find who got injured. Unless he tells us who it was. Well, the police are treating my trusted butler as the prime suspect. They think the butler did it. That's how it always is in those movies, dude. It's always either the maid or the butler. Most gemstones must first be cut and polished into beautiful jewels, but the Aurora Drop is said to have naturally formed into its shape. Ooh. The way it shines looks a bit like an Aurora. <laughs> yes, that's precisely how it got its name. Wow, you're just so smart, aren't you, Tim? Even among us jewelers, for the longest time, we called it the Jewel of Legend. The Jewel of Arceus? The Jewel of Life? That's what the Arceus movie was called, right? Arceus and the Jewel of Life? Obviously, that's not what this is, but, like, I think they're trying to remind you of that. Yes, they believe the thief is my own trusted butler, Barnes. Why do they think that? Because Barnes and I are the only people who can access the key to the storage room. What's keeping someone else from getting to it? The key's always kept around Growlithe's neck. If anyone but Barnes or myself attempted to take it from her, Growlithe would start barking. My Growlithe is a very loyal Pokemon. Isn't that literally Growlithe's Pokedex species, the loyal Pokemon? I don't see a key around Growlithe's neck right now, though. <laughs> oh, Barnes took it. That would certainly make sense, assuming Barnes really is the culprit. Mr. Dennis, if possible, I'd like to talk with Barnes. He's currently being questioned by the police. But you don't believe Barnes is a thief, right? I've known Barnes since we were young. He's worked in this home for years. Hey, that didn't stop the guy in one piece, though. Captain Kuro? I'ma say it was Barnes, bro. Like, it's always the butler. Please help me prove that Barnes is innocent. Well, what if he isn't, though? Alright, fine. I, I guess in this story, Barnes is innocent. So let's go talk to him. What's up, Willow Bidoof? Welcome. What even is the plot of this game? <laughs> I'm not sure, Mac. I'm not, I mean, so far, we're doing kind of like, not side quests, but the main quest is to find our dad. But so far, we haven't done anything really involving that. Like I said, though, the game, of course, starts off a little bit slower. And by that, I don't mean it in a bad way. I just mean that it's not going to get to the main plot until later on. Okay. Hmm. 
First, let's write in the notebook about any burning questions that arise. Hmm. We'll summarize the testimony and evidence that we've gathered during our investigation on the page below. The Aurora Drop is Mr. Dennis's prized jewel. Someone stole it! Hmm. After we've collected enough testimonies and evidence, the Begin Deducing option will appear. When you select this, we can start deducing the answers to our questions. We don't have enough testimonies or evidence right now, but once we do, we'll be able to start deducing. Hmm. He gotta find his dad again, so we never actually found our dad in the first game, that's the thing. So we're still looking for our dad, and apparently we're also still investigating the R drug that makes Pokemon go angry mode. Neither of those things have popped up in this game so far though. Literally all we've done is we found Pikachu's hat, and now we're helping this guy find his prize jewel. So, you know, eventually, uh, at the time of the incident, what was the situation at the mansion? Still looking into that. Wow. You're such a great help, Frank Holiday. If that is your real name. Well, the circumstantial evidence certainly seems to be pointing in his direction. He doesn't sound terribly convinced. Yeah. Actually, I can't think of a single motive for Barnes to steal that jewel. He doesn't appear to bear any ill will towards Mr. Dennis. That being said, we may uncover a motive in the course of an investigation. But for now, I can't say anything with certainty. What a great help you are, Mr. Barnes. I, I mean, Mr. Holiday. Sorry, Barnes is, is the butler, obviously. Yeah, he's literally got nothing for us, but then again, I kind of knew that already. Wait, we can talk to the main neck trick? Yo. This is what makes this game, I guess, stand out. Is obviously the Pokemon, right? Like, because we have Detective Pikachu as our partner, we can talk to the Pokemon. Oh, come on, man. Okay, do you know anything about Barnes? Excuse me. The we can't even join in. Even the great Detective Tim. But what about the great Detective Pikachu? I'm sure he could just slide in there through the air vents or something, right? What's up, Rebecca? Welcome. Got a couple of you people joining in. Welcome anybody that's new to the stream. The jewel storage room has been left exactly as it was at the time of the incident. Inspector Holiday has already filled me in. Please go right ahead. Yes. All right. Okay, we got some fluff on the floor. Cottony or Whimsicott? It's kind of like what I'm thinking right now. We saw one earlier, like outside of the mansion. Why are they looking at the keyhole? Hmm. What is it? I checked out the door, but there are no signs of forced entry. And we can be fairly certain that the thief used the key to get in. A cleft key? No? Maybe? This is looking good. I'm seeing some very mixed reactions in the chat. Some people are just like, these graphics are so ugly, but then some people like it. Although I'm not sure if you guys mean like the gameplay. Yeah, the gameplay, if you're into this type of game, is pretty cool. The graphics for me, like, it's not even the graphics really, it's just the lighting. I feel like they could have put a different lighting engine, and this game would actually look pretty good. So I wonder if maybe, like, somehow on emulator, like, people could figure out how to alter the lighting, and then maybe make this game actually look pretty good. Better than Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> Really? I don't know, man. Scarlet and Violet has a bunch of bugs and glitches, but the graphics are not really what I would say is the issue. Moving the base doesn't even look possible. Ooh, yo, this is like some Persona music. This is sick. We got a feather. A blue feather. Hmm. Maybe it's from a Pokemon that lives in the mansion. Let's look into that later. Blue feathers. I'm thinking Chatot. Maybe Murkrow. Cramorant. Ooh, that's a good one. Cramorant's a pretty silly Pokemon. We got some cotton in this. Okay, obviously it's Whimsicott then. 
What's a bunch of cotton doing in here? Oh, it could be Alteria too, actually. But is Alteria cotton or is it like Whoa. cloud substance? I don't know what it's called. Oh yeah, let's examine the actual jewel. Or I guess the pedestal. It was clean sliced through. That's crazy. What kind of blade could have sliced clean through this? Uh, a Gallade? I, I don't know. The jewel case is still locked. Okay, so they didn't have the key to the jewel box. They only had the key for the actual storage room. Yep. I wonder who has the key then. For the storage room, wasn't it still the butler? Whoa. Bro, I checked out. What do you want me to check? Hmm. Yeah, we know it was sliced clean through. Do you think the top half of the case was cut off? Yeah, looks that way. It's a really clean cut. Hmm. It does seem like it was various Pokemon that were involved in this. I don't think there's a single Pokemon right. that could have done all three of these things. Like, Whimsicott doesn't really slash like that. Neither does Altaria, right? But okay. Altaria let's is the only one that's blue and has cotton-like substance. Okay, let's start deducing. Oh, wait, so does that mean I gotta open the notebook? Yep. Okay. Some of you guys are saying Articuno. I don't know if a thief would have an Articuno. <laughs> Unless they're like a top Team Rocket executive or something. We have a few plausible theories. Which do you think is right? Bro, you never know. Okay, true. If they're a thief, maybe they stole the Articuno, the, the Pokeball or something. The culprit may not have taken the Aurora Drop out of the Jewel storage room. Instead, they may have hidden it among the cotton fluff. No, what? The culprit somehow cut open the Jewel case to steal the Aurora Drop. Well, yeah, that's true. No, it's obviously it's this one. What? Okay. Okay. We still need to investigate more to determine how the case was sliced open. But at least now we know how the thief got their hands on the drop. Yeah, we got our first step forward! Is that all we can do so far? Yeah, we did it! <laughs> nice. Feel free to start deducing whenever you want now. We can be certain the culprit sliced open the case and took the jewel from inside. But there's just one thing that's strange. Okay. What's strange about the way it was committed? That the glass was cut but the door wasn't? That the jewel was stored in this room or that the jewel storage room door was locked? No, it wasn't. Oh. Yeah, it's gotta be that. And that's right. So that means the thief only had one of the keys. The one to the storage room. They didn't have the key to the jewel case. According to Mr. Dennis, only he and Barnes can access the jewel storage room. I understand why the police suspect Barnes, but I'm not so sure. Whoever it was somehow lured the Growlithe to giving them the key. I mean, Growlithe seems pretty friendly. I know he said it's loyal, but like, what if you just bribed it with a treat? I'm sure you can just take the keys right off its neck. Sorry, I couldn't just stand waiting around. Have you discovered anything? It does appear that the culprit used the storage room key to gain entry. We believe they then cut open the jewel case and took the Aurora Drop. Is that so? Bro, literally anyone could have figured that out. Like, we didn't even need to do all that investigating. Just look at the case. It's clearly cut open. Okay, so he would never give Barnes the key. Which means it was taken by force. Got it. So both Barnes and Dennis can access the key to the jewel. But only Mr. Dennis has access to the key to the jewel case itself. Okay. The Aurora Drop is meant to become a symbol of revival for Rhyme City. Anyway, I'm counting on you, Tim. Interesting. A symbol of revival. Dude, it really is the Arceus jewel from the movie, man. I'm telling you. It's the jewel of life. If the key hadn't been used to unlock the storage room, Barnes wouldn't be under suspicion in the first place. Why would he do that, knowing people would suspect him? Maybe he didn't think that far- Nah, bro, come on. 
Maybe Barnes is in on it after all, but it wasn't him that actually stole the jewel. All right, I'm counting on you, Pikachu. Okay. What are we deducing now? Based on everything we heard, is there anything that suggests Barnes is innocent? Not exactly. Do we have enough information for this? I don't think so, right? Wait, what the frick, bro? Yeah, I don't think we have all the info. I guess I was supposed to just back out. Whoa. Yeah, we don't have enough information. Okay. Let's go talk to some more people then. You on the Australian eShop? I'm on the Japanese eShop, actually. You could do Australia, you could do New Zealand, I think, too. To get the game early. But I always do Japan, just because... I don't know, I like Japan, I guess. <laughs> oh. What's all this? Pokemon feathers? Yo, wait! Swana? It's a lighter blue feather now. Sw Does Swana have blue feathers too, or just white? Swana could use Air Slash. That could be it, actually. Hmm. What's up, Dragon Super? The movie's really good, The Jewel of Life. Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite Pokemon movies. That and the Darkrai movie. It's freaking creepy, dude. I mean, Darkrai himself is very creepy. Yo, a Pokemon horror movie would be sick. I don't think they would ever do it, but imagine if Pokemon, like Pokemon Company, gave a little bit more creative freedom to like a movie director and let them do an actual horror movie. Whoa. Well, I guess like at least a PG-13 horror movie. That would be pretty sick. Oh, thank you, Dragon. Have you played the Japanese fruit game? Yo, that's so funny you say that, Rinzi. Because literally, I just bought it. <laughs> well, I didn't know about it, but my wife Keren told me about it. And I downloaded it for her, so I'm probably going to play this later. Or, I guess, watch her play it. But yeah. Apparently, that's been very popular recently on streams. Ask anything you want, Tim. About my dad. Just tell me he walked out, please. Tell me he's a no good deadbeat. Oh well, thanks anyway. <laughs> We're never gonna know, man. No one's ever gonna have the courage to just tell us. Oh, whatever, man. I don't even know why I bothered asking him. Obviously, he's not gonna tell us about our dad. Winnie the Pooh got a horror movie, so you never yes. know. Oh, I heard about that. You certainly don't look like you're with Yo, wait, who's this? State your business. No way this is Barnes. Hold up. Oh, okay, never mind. For a second, I thought this was Barnes. I'm like, yo, Mr. Dennis. What you doing with the with the butler? <laughs> but I guess is female butler still called a butler or is it called something else? I don't know. Anyway. Your husband. That must mean you're. Claudia Dennis, Sanji's wife. I'm sorry to bother you, but do you mind if, if we ask some questions? I do mind, actually. What? Okay. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. The case has been solved? What is she talking about? The police said Barnes is behind all this. Yo! She just put a huge target on her back. Are you kidding me? It's the wife? She wants to steal his fortune. Oh, man. She's a gold digger. And her partner's a ducklet. Oh wait, no, Barnes partner ducklet. Dude, I just said that. It is ducklet. Did you witness the crime? Barnes partner ducklet was involved. You look as though you don't believe me. Okay, I guess I should ask about what she witnessed. Excuse me. Well, I didn't exactly see it clearly. Huh? But I did witness some irrefutable proof. What exactly was... What, what, yeah, what did you see, Claudia? At the time of the incident, I was enjoying a cup of tea in my room on the second floor. Just then I noticed a big bird Pokemon flying outside. Wait, no, she didn't say big. Just, just bird. A bird Pokemon. Yes, I clearly saw a blue bird. It had to have been Ducklet. Okay, well, actually, that kind of makes me think it wasn't Ducklet then. Hmm... 
I also heard a faint sound just before that, like something metallic. Oh, Corviknight? Wait, is Corviknight's pre-evolution also steel type? I don't think it is, right? I know Rookie D's pure flying. Is Corvus Squire steel type? No. But then I guess it could have been a flock that hangs out with Corviknight. Because if she heard a metal sound, it could have been Metal Claw, the move. Or a Steel Wing, rather, I guess is what, yeah, Corvus Squire would learn. Wait, what does she say to us? Hold up. Hurry up and find whoever it is and get that jewel back. Isn't that what my husband hired you for? Oh yeah, she a gold digger. Excuse me. Let's ask her a little more about Ducklet. It's Barnes' partner. She dotes on him tirelessly and is always by his side. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think it's actually her. But she does still give me some suspicious vibes. I think she just really doesn't like Barnes for some reason. She wants it to be Barnes. Excuse me. Maybe she's jealous. Maybe Barnes is trying to get with, with Mr. Jeeves or whatever. I'm told Barnes has worked here for a very long time. Much longer, in fact, than I've known Sanjeev. I suppose that's why Barnes is always taking my husband's- Dude, she is jealous of him! Are you kidding me? How are you gonna be jealous of the butler, lady? Like, he's not married to the butler. <laughs> that's very insecure. Yes? Mr. Dennis told me the same thing. But do you really understand? Can you even comprehend just how valuable it is? Huh? Okay, I'm over this lady. Like, let's just skip the rest. And I'm assuming this is Barnes then, right? Man, it's kind of looking like Brosius from Scarlet so, and Violet. Uh, I mean, Detective Goodman? <laughs> Yo, Barnes! Oh no, wait, what? Larry Turner? Larry? Hold up. And he looks like Brosius? That's kind of sus. The name's... Wait, that's not proper enough. Sorry. Uh, my name's Larry Turner, and I'm a member of the house staff. But not Barnes, though. I was about to say I can see why Sanjeev is so into Barnes, but... Uh, I don't know. I guess it's Larry. Well, it's a good thing for me that Barnes deals with all the important guests. My main duties are taking care of the Pokemon, managing the house and groundskeeping. And I can handle all that no problem. I don't know. This guy ain't exactly filling me with confidence in his ability to do his job. What the frick do you know about managing a house, Pikachu? I'm really sorry for taking up more of your time. Oh, sorry, that's not what I meant. I'm not complaining or anything. It's just that I don't remember what happened very well. Mm. Something attacked me out of nowhere and I blacked out. Something. So not the thief then? Can you please tell us more about that, Mr. Turner? Sure. Right, so where to start? I was just doing my job like normal. I'd made food for the Pokemon, did some cleaning around the mansion, that sort of thing. I think I was tidying the garden when it happened. I saw Ducklet fly out of a second story window. So that's two individuals that have now said, or I guess testified they saw Ducklet. If we get one more, I'm gonna say, because right now, this guy and the wife could be conspiring against Ducklet and therefore against Barnes. A red Pokemon, hold up. What did he say about a red Pokemon now? He got punched by a Pokemon that was inside the storage room? Hold on. He saw the door to the storage room was wide open. Okay, so he didn't open it, apparently. Growlithe is red, right? <laughs> What's up, mommy? I'm Mew. <laughs> awesome name. Hmm. That's what the doctor said, too. No Pokemon would want to steal the Aurora Drop. It's possible the culprit ordered their partner Pokemon to swipe the jewel and punch out Turner. So, Tim, now that you've heard Turner's story, what do you think? We need to find the Ducklet and that red Pokemon, too. Yep. Excuse me. I guess just in case we'll ask him more. 
but I'm just going to skip through it just for the sake of, I don't think he's actually going to tell us anything valuable. Yeah, no, nothing valuable. Halucha? Maybe punching. Oh, dude, there's a ho -Oh here too. I was literally staring at the Lugia painting while we were talking to the wife. That is really sick. It reminds me of Soul Silver, like the art style for it, for the, the cover art or whatever. Okay, what does Clefable have to say about all this? How do you get so good at speaking voice? I don't know, actually. I feel like it is just with time. Because if you go back to my older videos, like really old videos, there there's a point somewhere between X and Y to Sword and Shield where I guess I kind of like, I almost want to say like I had a second voice drop. It's kind of weird. Because <laughs> like obviously my voice had already dropped like when I was 14, 15 or, or something. I don't know. Well, if you go to my really old videos, I had my little kid voice still. But then somewhere between X and Y to Sword and Shield, my voice got deeper again. Probably because I've been commentating for years at that point. Or a better microphone. That I guess that could be it too. Man, F this clip able. <laughs> Wait, did it even say anything? I'm sorry, I wasn't even paying attention. What did Clefable say? D no need to be so rude. It's suspicious of us. Feeling insens feeling sensitive. Okay, whatever. And what did Sanjeev just say? Of all the jewels in my shop, the Aurora Drop was the only one to remain unscathed. In fact, debris fell so perfectly around the drop that you might believe it was being protected. By what? Oh, the R incident. Okay, so he's talking about before it was stolen. Like when it was in his shop. Interesting. Maybe the jewel somehow protects itself? I mean, the way that they're making it seem is like this jewel belongs to a Pokemon or has some kind of Pokemon power to it. Ah, oh, forget I said anything. Wait, what did he say? Not everyone is so pleased about it. About him wanting to donate the jewel. Interesting. Yeah, I really need to focus on reading the dialogue so I don't have to keep going back. But it is nice that the game lets you go back because I... I apologize if anyone watching this finds it annoying. But I'm the type of person that the first time around usually doesn't pay attention. So it's nice that the game at least has that option for people like me. Okay, so Growlithe is feeling responsible for the whole incident. <gasps> what if someone used R on Growlithe to make it angry? Oh. Sounds like the police finished questioning Barnes. Yeah, let's go talk to him. Oh, dude, he totally looks like Captain Kuro. It's him. It's Brandon. He did it after all. <sighs> How did it come to this? Why are the police so suspicious of me? Because you look like a... Okay, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I was going to say he looks like a thief, but he doesn't really. My apologies. I am Brandon Barnes. I work here at the dentist residence as a butler. Do you mind if we ask you some questions? I realize you must be tired since you were just questioned, but... <laughs> Please don't worry about that. If you've been hired by Mr. Dennis, then it is my duty to give you my full cooperation. Great. Uh, okay, let's see what he remembers about the incident. It wasn't until after I'd finished my errand and entered the house that I realized something was amiss. I heard Turner cry out from the second floor. When I rushed upstairs, I found him collapsed on the floor. So that means Bonds was the first to witness or first witness to arrive to the scene of the crime. Wait, wasn't it technically Taylor or whatever the other guy's name, Larry? Did you see the thief or their partner Pokemon? No, nothing like that. Wait, if Barnes ran up the stairs, you'd think he would have run straight into the thief. 
unless the thief escaped through the window. I mean, that's probably why there were feathers right outside of it. Like, come on, Pikachu. Yes, the door was already open, and when I looked inside, I saw the drop was gone. I then contacted Mr. Dennis and the police right away. Is there anyone who can corroborate your whereabouts at the time? Unfortunately not. It was only afterward that Mrs. Dennis came out of her room to see what the commotion was about, and the only others in the house were Growlithe and Clefable. Naturally, no one can take a witness statement from Pokemon. Except us, because we've got Pikachu! Yep, the Pokemon that live in this mansion might know something. Alright, so we gotta ask Clefable again. Okay, obviously he doesn't know who the thief is, bro. Oh wait, what? He did give us another clue, though. Mr. Dennis and him are the only ones that can use the key, but we already knew that, though. About Ducklet. Yes. My dear partner Pokemon, just look at this photo. Oh, dude, that's so cute. It's got a little bag, though. Hold up. I'm pretty sure the jewel's got to be in the bag, then. But that's not all. She's also incredibly clever and even helps me out with my work. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm terribly sorry. I tend to get a bit carried away when I speak about Ducklet. Okay. What does Ducklet do? She runs errands such as buying coffee beans. Hmm. If that's their go-to cafe, then it's gotta be for the hi-hat blend. Guess I shouldn't be surprised that Rhyme City's elites have such refined taste. <laughs> Pikachu does know about coffee. That's the one thing I can say for sure he knows. Nothing about investigating, but coffee? Finally, about the Aurora drop. I feel like he's probably not going to say much. Yeah, okay. So we got to go talk to the Pokemon now. Growlithe guards the key. And apparently it only trusts Mr. Dennis, right? Yeah. And Clefable wasn't saying anything earlier, so... Oh, wait, we can talk to this guy, too. Wait, who just called out to us? Was it... Is it Detective Pikachu? You want to talk, bro? Like, what was going on? Yo, main Ectric. Working what? hard? <laughs> the way he hey, said yo. What did I ever do to you? He's just a snob, bro. Just leave it alone. So who is this guy? What does he have to do with the case at all? Is Brad another detective? Like our rival detective or what? Have you finished questioning Barnes? Oh, he is. Or I guess he works with the police somehow. Hmm. He has no intention of sharing information. Then why would we even ask him anything? Whatever, man. Useless, Brad. You're useless. All right, let's go talk to the Growlithe because Clefable wasn't telling us much. And Growlithe is the one that had the key. So obviously it had to remember something about it getting stolen from it. Sanji. Anyway, Growlithe, can we start with the questions? Wow. Do you remember anything about the time of the incident? You don't know because you were napping? Oh man, it's like taking candy from a baby. What? Your breakfast was so tasty that you ate too much and it made you sleepy. Been there. What are you even talking about? <laughs> you woke up when Barnes got home. That would have been right before all the commotion happened. And when you woke up, your precious key was gone. Yep. I can tell you're upset. You'll do whatever it takes to help us catch the thief. Thanks. And tell us something, please, about Barnes. She says Barnes is kind and well-mannered. He and Dennis are close, and she's never seen them fighting or arguing. Okay, so Growlithe trusts the butler. Said something about the key. Not really much that can help there. Only one left to ask is Clefable. Now, how are we going to get Clefable to talk to us? So far in this game, we don't actually need to do anything. The Pokemon just 
after ta spamming the A button enough times, they, they say what you actually need. So please tell me. Clefable will talk now. Oh, look at that. Clefable wants to talk to us now. Wow. Hey. Amazing. You have a job here at the mansion? Ah, uh, no job per se, unless you count spending time with Claudia. Isn't it tough hanging out with somebody so prickly? Damn, it's like that, Pikachu? Claudia's not a bad person, you say. Sorry, didn't mean to be insulting. Why is Detective Pikachu all the way over there? Talking to Clefable. Like, you don't want to come a little bit closer? Speak eye to eye, you know, so you can see the true intentions of this big round pink thing. Did anything strange happen today? Clefable's saying she got real sleepy while playing in the mansion this morning. Ah. So not only was Growlithe sleepy, but also Clefable? That's uh, definitely sus. Maybe Growlithe was put to sleep on purpose? Or Clefable ate some of Growlithe's food and there was something in the food that made them fall asleep? That's kind of where I'm thinking right now. Wait, she was dozing off near the front door this morning. When Bonds got home from doing stuff outside, she woke up and greeted him. Then Clefable and Bonds heard Turner cry out on the second floor, so they both went running upstairs. Okay. So we got testimony from Clefable, who's not... Doesn't have any allegiance with Barnes, so that does... Confirm that Barnes was on the first floor when the incident happened, or he was outside. So that, that does help Barnes' case at this point. But we still don't know exactly who it was. Yeah, let's deduce. Okay. We got some useful information. Based on everything we heard, is there anything that we can suggest Barnes is innocent? That Clefable saw him coming from outside. Yeah, that's gotta be the one. Okay. But still, that doesn't clear up who the culprit is. I'm definitely leaning towards that Larry guy. He's new to working at the mansion. And he's the only one that doesn't necessarily have any allegiances. can't lift the suspicion around Barnes with Clefable's testimony alone. I think we're going to need some other kind of evidence. But where should we look for it? Nothing immediately comes to mind. Except maybe the cafe? Hmm. The red Pokemon in Rhyme City, huh? And Ducklet. Okay, so we got to leave the mansion. Damn, I thought this, this, this whole case was going to be solved inside the mansion. We gotta actually leave the mansion too? Alright. Okay. I'm guessing Ducklet is in the cafe. And I'm not sure about the red Pokemon. But we saw Hariyama earlier. That's the only red Pokemon I've seen so far. I mean, Hariyama just has like a little bit of red. It's not entirely red, but it does have punches. Which Larry said he got punched and knocked out, so... That's what I'm thinking. Oh, hello? Lillipop's partner? I understand how you feel, man, but we're in the middle of an investigation. Yes, but what should I do? About what? Hmm? Okay. Is this like a side quest? I don't care about no side quest, bro. Oh, come on. Really? Her Lillipup's gone missing. Oh, no. I mean, Lillipup is kind of red. So maybe this will link to it. But then I don't... I don't it's more like orange. Same with Growlithe. But yeah, I'm guessing this is like a side quest. So we don't technically need to do this. When I was doing research about the first game in preparation for today, 
I remember reading a comment about the, uh, oh, well, look at that, Serenity Park. Maybe we can find this lady's little pup after all. Mm -hmm. This place is huge. Mm. This is Serenity Park. It's where everyone goes for a break from the busy city. So it's popular with people and Pokemon. Yeah, sometimes you'll find Pokemon here you wouldn't normally see in the city. Might want to swing by for a walk when you got some free time. I mean, why not right now? <laughs> we don't exactly have free time, but oh, Reboot! He's kind of red, right? And could definitely punch someone if needed. What's it saying? It wants us to be quiet because it's trying to think up a practice routine. Okay. I'm guessing there's no Paldean Pokemon in this game, huh? I didn't really think about it, but because it's been in development for so long... I don't think they even had, like, Scarlet and Violet. I mean, it was probably in the works, but... They didn't know whether this would come out before or after. But hey, at least we got Galarian Pokemon. Like, Rebu is so cool. We got some Alolan Pokemon, too. Not Sudowoodo, obviously, but... Woodo! Whoa! I was just thinking this was an odd place for a tree. Are you kidding me, Tim? How do you not know Sudowoodo? Like, do people in the Pokemon world... I mean, okay, I guess it's like real life. There's some, some weird animals out there that I've never heard of or seen in my life. So I guess in the Pokemon world, Pokemon are so common that you wouldn't know every single one of them. That, that's just because I play Pokemon that I know all of them, but I guess I shouldn't assume that in this world, everyone would know every Pokemon. You there! Wait, you wouldn't happen to be that great detective duo, would you? Who the frick is this guy? He looks super suspicious. What? I am such a huge fan of yours. Bro, what's up with that mustache too? That looks drawn on. <laughs> My name is Charles Murlock. I'm a scientist working here in Rhyme City to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. A scientist, huh? Oh, what's that? You'd like to hear more about what I do? No. Who? Asked. This guy's intense. And he seems like the type who doesn't even listen to what others are saying. If you two great detectives have any questions for me, by all means, fire away! What would I even ask about, bro? I, I don't even know who you are. Or what you do. I, I know you're a scientist. Okay, I guess. My research explores the nature of communication between people and Pokemon. Sounds complicated. No, it's quite simple, really. We're just trying to help Pokemon understand human language. Imagine what it'd do for Rhyme City. It'd make life here so much more entertaining and simple. Oh god. Why do I have a... feeling that this guy might actually be doing it for another reason? Excuse me. Like, maybe he's a little bit too into a certain Pokemon. Like Gardevoir or Lucario and really wants to know how they're feeling. You know, that kind of thing. Okay. Well. Oh, can I ask you a favor, Pikachu? Would you allow me to give you a quick health exam? What? Ow! Bro! Hey, what'd you just do to me? What did he do? I want to know. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We need a little more details here. I only plucked a bit of fur. Oh, thank God. That's all he did. Uh, what exactly are you doing? This is a machine I created at Mayor Meyer's request. It can measure a Pokemon's vital signs in record time. In other words, it's made to quickly check a Pokemon's health. I'd say that's a good thing for you, both people and their partners. Yeah, sure. Way to bury the lead. Okay, it's ready now. What's it say? It's detecting caffeine? Someone say caffeine? <laughs> Seeing as he's working as a detective, I figured this was no ordinary Pikachu. But these results are truly fascinating. Okay. He's definitely not evil. Wait, do you mean that sarcastically? Or are you saying it's so obvious that he is evil? 
My what? <laughs> Hold up. Oh my gosh. He said he's working for the mayor too, which is the other character that people were suspicious about. So now I'm like extra suspicious about this guy. Come on, Pikachu, stop sulking and let's go. High triglycerides. <laughs> I've heard that word before, but I didn't go to college, all right? I don't know what the frick triglycerides are. I do like learning, though. Like, I'm the type of person that when I see a word or something I don't know, I'll instantly Google it. This is the top, yeah? Bro, you drink Look so much that, coffee, you shouldn't be this tired. Like, come huh? on. It's the triglycerides. And here you have a perfect view of the dentist residence. Oh. So coming to this park wasn't a waste after all. I'm pretty sure that window is the one in front of the jewel storage room. A Pokemon capable of flying could go straight into the mansion from here. Yeah, if our thief was getting help from a Pokemon, this would be the perfect vantage point. So let's look around then. We got some leaves on the floor that we can't actually investigate. Oh, we got some cotton, some fluff. Just looks like trash to me. Are you kidding me, bro? Really? We okay. Whatever. Oh, wait, is that a notebook on the floor? Oh no, it's an arrow. But there is a rock over here that kind of looks like Spiritomb. It's got a bunch of slashes, bro. Were they practicing to slash the the jewel box open? That's gotta be it, right? But there's literally nothing else around here. And it's weird that we can't investigate this piece of cotton further. What's up, retro gamer? Dude, I love Phalanx. Oh my god, wait, they do say their names, what? I was saying that at the beginning of the episode, how like... The Pokemon should actually say their names in this game, and they do. Maybe it was just Zatu, or maybe it said two. Not Zatu, but just the two part. That's cool. Squad goals. <laughs> What's up, Slash Boy? Oh my god, guys, it's the culprit! It had to be Slash Boy! Got a little ribbon bee here, too. Oh, that's cute. See, they didn't actually quite say ribbon bee, though. Maybe I'm tripping. Ribbon be mixed pollen and nectar to make all kinds of different puffs. Yo, hold up. What kind of puffs we talking here, Pikachu? The kind that would make an Alolan Executor... You know, stretch into the sky? Alright, I guess that's it for the park. Actually, I think there's one more area down here. Yeah. Oh, Licky Tongue! <laughs> Oh, I love that cry. I always remember Licky Tongue's cry from the anime. Licky! What a long tongue! That's what she said. Aw, oh, come on! Licky Tongue stopped again! She keeps getting distracted! That's what she said. Or I guess that's what he said? Oh, wait, it just loops around. What? Okay, well, I guess that's it for the park now, officially. Is this game any good? If you're into story games and you have patience, then yes. But if you just like Pokemon, then probably not. I feel like most people that only play main series Pokemon would probably get bored by this game. I mean, unless you just like Pokemon media in general. Like, if you like the anime, if you like the movies, then maybe you'd like this. I mean, there's a lot of Pokemon in it, and they're pretty freaking cute. <gasps> it is Ludicolo! And yo, we got the girl from the picture. Oh, Tim! She knows us? Oh yeah, she's our... Uh, she's from our school. Yo! Hello there. There's a Poltegeist in the back. Or at least the teapot. Wow, what a coincidence running into you here. Yeah, sure. I think I've seen this girl somewhere before. Oh, I remember. Howard's Notebook. She's the girl from the photo. Yes, Pikachu, this is Rachel. We go to college together. Right. 
And you said she knows a lot about Pokemon too, huh? And she's just a classmate? Or... Yo, hold up, Pikachu. Getting a little saucy. I'm just looking out for you. I never hear you talk about actually having any fun with people. Ah, well. Anyway, who's the woman next to her? Oh my god, Pikachu. Yo, he really is Danny DeVito, bro. Like... I, don't, I cannot believe they didn't get Danny DeVito to voice him. I feel like he would have been down. He's done, like more PG movies in the past too. It's not like he only does raunchy stuff. No need to be embarrassed. I totally understand the urge to talk with your partner. But now that you're here, why don't you chat with us for a bit? Okay. I don't really like people you and as much as I do Pokemon, hard, but huh? sure. Yeah, he's actually more helpful than he looks. What's up, Renee? <laughs> That's pretty impressive, Pikachu. Is she the love interest or <laughs> Yeah, I'm guessing that for this game, she's like replacing the Little Mermaid from the first game. We don't really know each other that well. Maybe you have the wrong impression of me? No, way! I've had my eye on you for a while now, Tim. Okay, so she's definitely into us. I don't know if Tim is as into her. Does she mean what I think she means? It's like I have a front row seat to the Great Detective in action. Feels like an exciting new adventure could break out any moment. Ah, right. Oh, so she's a fangirl. She's not actually into us like that? Okay. Quiet, you. It is such an honor to meet you, Tim. Frickin' fangirls, man. Thank you for solving the R case. You have no idea what that meant to me. Oh? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. What, what did the R case have to do with her? See, now I'm actually curious. More about Jessica than pink hair over there. No need to be modest. You're a great detective after all. Jessica used to work with my mother years ago. That's how we met, and we've been friends ever since. Okay. Again, who asked? <laughs> hey, I'm the great detective. I work at Pizzeria. Oh, oh okay, never mind. <laughs> I mean... Free pizza? I think it's worth dating Jessica for some free pizza. Hmm. Tim, there's actually something I wanted to talk to you about. What's up? Well, it's about something going on at home. Does it have anything to do with the case we're doing? She doesn't want to waste our time. Yeah, okay, true. Yeah, I'm actually busy working a case right now. So, yeah, let's not waste any time. And let's instead talk to... Well, look Pirate who Captain Usopp! Uh, I mean, Pablo. Of course it's Pablo. <laughs> oh my god, Ludicolo's cry! That is the best cry in the game so far. I love that. Hey, Tim, this is something that happened today. I noticed you weren't here this morning. I don't know why I'm making him Italian. I mean, he might be Italian. It said Pablo Milan? Milan? It's kind of like Italian sounding. I don't know. Sounds rough. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Me? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. Uh, about Ducklet. Excuse me. Did it come by? Yeah, I know her. You're talking about the Barnes partner. She often comes here all on her own to buy coffee beans. She really is a clever little Pokemon. Just like Barnes said. She always comes with this cute little bag that I fill with the beans. As far as I know, she take him straight back to the mansion. In fact, she left with her usual order a couple minutes ago. I apologize to any Italians watching this. <laughs> I, I try to go for a Spanish accent at first. Because Pablo is typically a Hispanic name. But... Yeah, he loves the coffee and jazz. But apparently he's been really stressed lately, so he hasn't been stopping as much. Oh, we were talking about Barnes, right? Okay. Stressed, you say? Hmm. Uh, well, I'm not sure it's my place to tell you about customer personal matter. Bro, you're not a doctor. You don't got the doctor's confidentiality. Like, what, do I gotta bribe you? Slide you a few polka dollars? Apparently, the dentist has had a difference of opinion. About what? Hold up. The case? Hmm? Oh, the jewel. Hmm. Because the wife didn't want him to donate it, right? 
Bonds wasn't trying to come up with a compromise, but he said he just wound up getting stuck in the middle of the argument. That does sound stressful. I remember him saying he wished there was no jewel in the first place. He wished there was no jewel, huh? So he made it disappear! <laughs> I mean, that's a lose-lose though, like... Excuse me. You don't get either side if you make it disappear. I don't know, man. I guess for him, that's the point. Make the jewel disappear and the husband and wife no longer argue, but... Sounds kind of backwards to me. Milsery! Oh, it's so cute. Oh my god, the cry too! Mil Mil! Oh, it's Milsery! Don't, don't you go slurping it up, Pikachu. I know you're used to that with having some cream with your coffee, but... You can't just go drinking Pokemon, bro. <laughs> I'd prefer to keep my coffee black, but why don't you try some cream, Tim? Oh, I guess never mind. Pikachu's not okay, into the, the cream. Luda. Wait, we can deduce something already? Does Ludicolo know about Ducklet? Mm -hmm. Make it spin. <laughs> yeah, we just gotta get that Milsery turned around. It'll come out creamy in no time. I see. So the pond of water there is good for your fur. And you meet Ducklet there sometimes and you go to bathe. How nice that you tell each other about good swimming spots. I guess water type Pokemon get along swimmingly. Ha <laughs> ha! Good one, Tim. A real good one, buddy. You got as good as puns as... Well, I was gonna say as me, but my puns kinda suck. Alright, what can we deduce? Huh? Ducklin is nowhere to be found at the dentist residence. Find out where... Wait, we know where she is. Okay, let's start to... Whoa! What? Bro. Okay, fine. I guess I'll deduce then, bro. Okay. Ducklet went to the pond. It's neither of these. Why do you want me to... Wait, what? No, she didn't go to the high hat though. According to Pablo... Oh wait, it did go to the... Okay, maybe we do know the answer then. Okay. But I'm pretty sure Ludicolo said it went... To the... No, bro, I picked the wrong one! Oh my god, they switched it on me. That's BS, man. Okay. Literally earlier, the mansion was on the left side. Okay, it's a, she went to the hi-hat cafe. Okay. There we go. Mind you, no one hears Pikachu, so Tim just looks like magic talking to himself. <laughs> bro, people must think Tim is crazy. But if he's such a good detective, they probably think he's like some kind of savant. Or like super genius, like L from Death Note or something. Okay. Like they probably just think he's weird. Tim, but like Tim. at the end of the day, he gets the job done. So who are they to judge? You know. I see the little bounce sweets up on the top. That that looks cute. What's this? A contra bass. Now that's stylish. I had, I thought that was called like a cello or something. Well, then what do I know about music? What's up, Jessica? Feel free to ask any questions you guys want. That goes for anyone in chat. If you guys got any questions. Tim, Tim. I'm always open to answering. Yo, what 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 do you want now, Pikachu? Tim, yes? Tim. Okay, hey, tell Tim. me. Jessica seems really grateful to us for solving the R case two years ago. Oh my god. Nice to know our hard work wasn't for nothing. Okay, I thought he was gonna say, you should ask her out, man. Like <laughs> if not you, then I'ma ask her. Oh, yo, Trubbish! One man's trash is another Trub. man's treasure! Hey, wait up! Why is it running away, though? It's gone. <laughs> Let me guess, this is some kind of side oh. quest? Alright. Running away like that is very suspicious. Hmm. What? It had to hide somewhere around here, right? <gasps> oh, Lillipop! Yo, we found the lady's Lillipop! Did someone say walkies? <laughs> I haven't mentioned it yet, but the little taglines for every Pokemon are pretty cute. Yeah! How are we gonna get it to the lady, though? 
I mean, I guess you can just grab it. Like, pick it up. Wait. Apparently, he was having so much fun running around that he wasn't paying attention to where he was going. Next thing he knew, he was here. Oh. Okay. Lillipup! I'm so glad you've been found! Alright. I don't think any of this is really that important, so let's just see if we get anything for it. Wow! I guess if you're going for like 100% of this game, you would have had to find that Lillipup. And this is why I wish they had achievements on the Switch. Like, if they do a Switch 2, I know that Nintendo, like, I guess they... I wouldn't say it's in a good way, but they, they stand apart by not having achievements because all the other consoles and even Steam have achievements now. But like, low-key, I, I don't mind achievements because I like being able to show off when I 100% a game, you know? On PlayStation, the trophies, when you get all the trophies, you get the Platinum Trophy and people on your friends list can see that you have the Platinum Trophies. It'd be kind of cool if on Nintendo, like, people could see if you 100% of games too. What is your Nintendo Switch friend code? Oh! Well, I think my friends list might be full. <laughs> what in the world were you doing? Apologies, sir. Uh-oh. Something happened, Brad? Ducklet was spotted near the mansion just now, but when my subordinates tried to catch her, they let her escape. Probably went to the pond, right? Unfortunately, I do not, and I don't have the resources to keep searching. At this point, I'll have to call in the services of the Pokemon Protection Bureau. Not the PPB! Are you staying in Tokyo? I think for the most part, I'm not exactly sure what part of Tokyo, but yeah, we should be near Tokyo at least. Although for the first few weeks when we go to Japan, we're going to be traveling around a lot. Which is why I said I probably won't be making content the first few weeks. But after we get settled in, like in November basically, yeah, we're going to have, we're, we're going to be in Tokyo. Or at least close to it. Alright, let's see if Ducklet is at the pond or not. Oh, I forgot we can walk faster too. Hey, yo, there's no Ducklet here. What the frick, man? Never mind, I guess we gotta go back into back back to the mansion. Thanks for your help before detective. I've decided I'm gonna spend all day with Piplup. Uh, I mean Lillipup. That's obviously not a Piplup. Man. Excuse me, um... I was talking about achievements, right? Because in this game, there's no actual rewards for completing quests, it's just like a check mark, like, hey, you did it! Unlike in main series Pokemon, like, if we did that side quest, that lady probably would have given us a hyper potion or something. Some kind of reward, you know? So in this game specifically, or games like this, achievements would be pretty nice, because like, then you'd actually get something for doing that side quest. Or maybe not for that side quest specifically, but like, if you complete every side quest in the game or something, you know? You'd probably get an achievement for that. Ah uh, yes, Piplup, the dog Pokemon. <laughs> Duh. Okay, can we look through the window? Oh, we still haven't found the red Pokemon. I just realized that's what we have to do. And my face cam was covering it, so... Whoops. Okay, let's go see if we can find the red Pokemon then. I agree achievements keep me motivated to fully complete games or go out of my way to do new things. Yeah, definitely. Like, if I really, really like a game, I want to get all the trophies on it. Like, I've done it for almost all of the Souls games, like Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro. I've tried to get all the trophies on those. Same with, like, easier games, like Spyro, Ratchet & Clank. I always try to 100% those, because they're relatively easy. So, like, going the extra mile to 100% it is the challenge. I don't exactly know how you could do achievements in Pokemon. Oh, what? 
Wait, is the red Pokemon just Hariyama? It's not- he's like orange though. Where the frick is the red Pokemon? It's not NK, obviously. Oh, Watchhog is red. Is it actually Watchhog? Hold up. No way, it's Watchhog, right? I mean, I guess he's kind of red. Those eyes are definitely red. Which is maybe why the game was zooming in on them like that. Chog? Watch Chog Zobbies observing things around the city. In that case, maybe it seems something useful. Can't hurt to ask. About the red Pokemon. Is it you? Oh, it doesn't know which one. I mean, we know it's a Pokemon that can use moves to slice clean through hard objects and can easily knock down a human with a punch. Yeah, that doesn't really seem like Watchog to me. You haven't seen any Pokemon like that around here? Alright then. About Ducklet then? I know it's gotta be at the pond, bro. What's it saying? It says it saw Ducklet pass by here. Hmm. But it's not at the cafe though. Unless it is at the cafe, maybe hiding? Okay, Greedent is kind of red too, right? But we can't even talk to Greedent. And then... The only other Pokemon at the cafe was Bounsweet. Can't go in this person's house, that would be weird. <laughs> I don't know where else we could look. Other than the cafe. Sorry, that came off as rude. Oh, nah. It wasn't rude. I just didn't really think about it being red. Well, Like, I guess, as an artiste, you know, I can differentiate between the different shades of red, and I would say that was more of a maroon. <laughs> okay, so mm -hmm. Ducklet's not hiding in the music. Or in the instruments. It's not over here. Uh... Looks like Pablo's got some new coffee beans. Hey. Is that really it? No one else has anything to add on to the investigation, right? Yeah, Rachel's got nothing. Hmm. I feel like we've kind of hit a stump with this investigation right now. Reboot is red, where you were looking for Duckly. Yeah, I talked to Reboot already, though. I didn't say anything. I just wanted to play soccer, I think. I don't know. There was also a red fire hydrant earlier. I don't know if maybe that could be related somehow. Yeah, Reboot has nothing. That's so weird though. I don't I don't really know where else to look at this point. Fallings has nothing for us. Yeah, I saw the bounce sweets at the restaurant, but those are more pink than red. That was a giant Hariyama. <laughs> it was. It was quite large and in charge. You know, actually, I haven't talked to Hariyama yet. Maybe it can give us a hint? Because at this point, I don't know who else to talk to. It could be a Scizor if it can slice through things with ease. That's true, I didn't think about Scizor till now. And Scizor could also punch someone unconscious. Alright, what's going on with you two? This way doesn't look too safe. Oh my god. Alright, so that's not it either then, huh? Wait, does this thing say not to wash your hands? Or is it saying not to touch the plants? What What is that sign saying? Hey Tim, no need to hold back, you know. Okay, fine. Okay, I'm gonna have to consult hey. the clues. Wondering how we can track down the red Pokemon? If you're stuck, I can help you. Yeah, yeah that's why I'm asking for help, bro. Oh my god, really? Oh, Cotton- Oh, Whimsicott! Duh, we haven't talked to Whimsicott yet! K 
Can we even reach it, though? I don't care about Maractus, little girl. No, hey! Stop it! Okay, Whimsicott. It's too high up. I don't know how I can talk to it. It, like, totally disappeared now, too. The frick. Oh, there it is! Come here! Yo! Come down! Yo, no! What the frick? There's gotta be a way we can get Whimsicott down, right? I guess you could say I want Whimsicott down bad. Get it? Yeah, I don't I don't know how to bring it down though, so we can talk to it. Oh, there was another Whimsicott outside the mansion? Alright, let's let's check that one then. Yeah, that Whimsicott was trolling me, bro. Ah, there are some Whimsicots outside the mansion. Okay. I don't know why I didn't think to talk to Whimsicott, considering, you know, the cotton that was all over the crime scene. They gotta know something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Whimsicots say it's theirs. Okay. So what were you guys doing there? I don't suppose you've been in there. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Oh. <laughs> They're playing hard to get. Or I guess that's not the right word, but you know what I mean. It thinks it remembers going into the mansion while playing with its friends. It thinks so? Yeah, let's ask for more details. How did you get into the residence? Fly in through the window? Hmm, yep, of course. You don't remember anything after eating breakfast. The heck does that mean? <laughs> oh wait! Growlithe fell asleep after eating breakfast too. And so did Clefable. Hmm. Now look here, you might be an accessory to theft. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? <laughs> uh, these Whimsicots are useless. Great. Alright. Let's ask about... About you, Whimsicott. You ride on seasonal winds that take you all over the world, huh? The city seems even livelier than usual whenever Whimsicott arrive. So they're not here all year. They're the perfect thief then! They can just drift with the wind, you'll never see them again. Uh, until next year, that is, because they're seasonal apparently. Any red Pokemon? Please tell me you guys have seen Pawniard? Yo, that- Perfectly fits. It can slash. It can maybe punch. I mean, maybe it's two separate Pokemon still, but maybe Ponyard could like headbutt you instead of a punch. And on windy days, you play with Ponyard by picking it up and flying it around. Isn't Ponyard kind of heavy? It's a steel type. Serenity Park. Okay. We finally have a lead. Thank goodness. Let's just skip past the rest of this. Oh wait. If we go meet Ponyard, we should be careful about how we treat its favorite rock. We saw that rock earlier. I mean, it's gotta be the rock with all the slashes on it, right? And then Ducklet. Have they seen Ducklet? They have not seen Ducklet. Alright. Well. Let's go meet up with Ponyard then. Serenity Park. I really hope this is it, man. I'm, I'm kind of over this segment already. Not the jewel thing, but just finding the red Pokemon. We've been at it for a while. Oh my god, there's still nothing here? Oh. Maybe not? If it was here earlier, maybe it left some kind of sign. You mean like that rock with all the slashes on it? It's covered in gashes! They look like they were left by something sharp like a blade. It's evidence! I doubt a human would be strong enough to make clean cuts like these, I mean... Depends on what kind of human you're talking. Oh, look at that, we got some little leaves right here too. Almost like someone used razor leaf. They have torn up edges. Uh, they were bitten, not cut. 
Hmm. I don't know. Does Whimsicott eat like grass or maybe it was ducklet? Now it lets us investigate the cotton. I don't know why. Literally, I came to this park earlier. I did all of those things, but it wouldn't let me count it as evidence. What? Oh, okay, fine. I guess we got to deduce that the red Pokemon is Ponyard. Maybe. Okay. Ponyard and the Whimsicott apparently play together often since they flew to the dentist residence together. We might be able to find if we search inside the mansion. I mean, it must have, it might have eaten them. It's highly likely the slash bars were made by Ponyard. That's proof that Ponyard comes to the tent. I'm pretty sure it's got to be this one. Okay. Yeah. But it's nowhere near the rock. Unless we just, we had to deduce it wow. before it pops up. Oh, yeah, we should climb on the rock. It said oh. not to do anything to the rock, right? So if we mess around with its favorite toy, <laughs> I'm sure the pony art's gonna show up. Pawn! There it is! It was two Pokemon after all. Whimsicott and Ponyard working together. And I'm guessing that the ducklet feathers were because it was trying to stop them then. But then whose Pokemon are these? I doubt Ponyard just wanted to steal the jewel for fun. We got some questions for you. Would you mind talking with us for a bit? It says it'll talk. Good, because I was about to make it talk. So you've been traveling all over as part of your journey to warriorhood. I'm sorry, did you say journey to warriorhood? <laughs> Apparently it travels all over the place to practice and improve its moves. It says that because it was born with these blades, it wishes nothing more than to master them. Oh, it's like a little Edward Scissorhands, huh? It says it can easily slice a rock in two. This might sound a bit strange, but you haven't uh, punched anyone recently, have you? I mean, I feel like if Ponyard was to punch someone, it would just stab him instead. Ponyard says it never punched a single person. Yeah, I don't think it can, bro. <laughs> you could cut someone with those hands. On second thought, you'd wind up with a different injury if you were punched by Ponyard. <laughs> What's it saying now? Apparently, it's never seen any other Ponyard. Okay. What about Ducklet, though? Did you, by chance, fight a Ducklet? No? Interesting. Ponyard's not sure if it was the same place, but it vaguely remembers going to a big house. It had to be, bro. But how did it get there? I'm, I'm thinking it was... That, I guess. I was also wondering how a Whimsicott could pick up a Ponyard. I guess two of them together. Did you happen to cut a jewel case when you were there? Pawn? So you can remember the sensation of cutting, but the rest is a blur? This is important, so please try to remember. It says its mind feels all foggy, and it just can't remember what was going on at the time. Damn. I have like the term right at the tip of my tongue. Something about like deniable claws. Like, basically, it's trying to keep itself innocent by saying that it can't remember. It's asking if we're done here so it can get back to training. Okay, fine. Go back to cutting rocks. Whatever. Plausible deniability. That's that's what it is. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. A little bit of a Demon Slayer moment right there. <laughs> Don't know why we needed to see that cutscene, but... Oh, wait! The clean slice through the rock! Bro, this is totally evidence that it was Ponyard. Can we, like, take a picture and go show it to the detective? Like... I mean, this obviously proves it was Ponyard. But whose Ponyard is this? It doesn't have a trainer. So it still doesn't tell us who... Stole the jewel. Hmm. 
Okay. We also still haven't found that ducklet. It appears to have gone cold, and she could have important testimony. Consider the clues at the scene of the crime to deduce how to find her. What? What do you want now, Pikachu? Bro, he never says anything helpful. So, your hands are blades, huh? Wow, that's pretty neat. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, I'm a shank ya. <laughs> I mean, the way that Pikachu said that made it sound kind of mean. Like condescending almost. Whoa. What the heck is Toucanon doing here? Yes. Okay. She's kind of cute too. Do you really not know who I am? I'm kind of a big deal on the university campus. And I know you go to school there too. Know anything about this so-called big deal, Tim? Not that I can think of. They call me the Quiz Professor. I'm actually still a student, but that's what they call me. And this is my partner, Toucanon. Okay. So what is this Quiz Professor all about? Like, are we actually going to have to answer some questions here? Another side quest with no reward? Because there's no freaking achievements? Alright, whatever, man. What Pokemon catches prey using its long tongue? It's in this very city. Wow. I wonder what it could be, guys. I have no idea. Pokemon with a long tongue? Is it Kecleon? It's gotta be Kecleon. Wait, is she not actually, like, do you want me to go find the Pokemon or what? Oh, she wants me to actually look for it. Okay, fine. We literally saw a Licky Tongue somewhere in this park, so let's go find it. Aha! Licky! Wait, is that it? And now we just gotta talk to the girl, or what? Oh my god, when you super speed with yes. Tim, it kind of like hurts my eyes a little bit. You have to focus on Tim's character model. Because if you look at the background, it kind of like the blur effect hurts my eyes. I don't know. He's saying there's more, of course. What Pokemon uses its cute looks to put you off your guard and steal from you? Oh. Okay, I feel like that could actually be a lot of Pokemon. Cute looks. And then it steals from you. Hmm. Hold up. Before chat says it, I'm not going to look at chat for a second. I want to actually figure this out. At least from the Pokemon we've seen so far. I don't think Ribombi seems like the type to steal from people. Oh, probably Purloin, right? Purloin's kind of cute. I mean, it's a cat. I'm guessing that's it. Oh, chat actually didn't say it. <laughs> they said Dedene. Well, one person. <laughs> I don't think we've seen a Dedene in this game so far. Agite. Wait, what? My pen's gone! Oh my god! Freaking stole my pen! Yeah, it's definitely Purloin then. Back to the quiz, Professor, then! Yeah, maybe you guys can tell what I'm talking about. Look at the background, not Tim. Okay, actually, now that I'm looking at it again, it doesn't really hurt my eyes anymore. Maybe it was just that yes. one time. Whoa, how come this time we got a little jingle? The first time I didn't do that. Weird. Alright, come on, how many more of these quizzes you got? Pokemon that moves as a group, like one that travels in herds or flocks? Nope, in this case the whole group counts as one Pokemon. Bro, it's literally right behind her. Are you kidding me? I mean, they made it really obvious. I was gonna say PETA before, because they hang out in a flock, but... They're all one singular Pokemon, yes. it's obviously Phalanx. Anything else? Yay, we did it! Oh my god, can I get my achievement, please? Ta-da! Alright, now back to the main quest. Again, I just, I really wish there'd be some kind of reward in-game for completing those. Like, what if you could unlock, like, different outfits for Tim? That would make it feel more worth it, doing the side quests. 
Like, it looks like he, you could customize him, right? Like, his character is not... I mean, the face and the hair is already unique enough. And besides for the red jacket, which is like his signature thing, you could definitely have a different shirt, different pants, different shoes. Maybe you could get different hats for Detective Pikachu. I don't know, something to like make these side quests more rewarding. I feel like would have greatly benefited this game. All right, now we got to interview the Pokemon in the mansion again? About your special skills. She says she has way better hearing than most Pokemon do. Okay. So what did you hear? And also, why are we asking this? Are we trying to figure out, like, who put the other Pokemon to sleep? Oh. What's going on yeah. here? A little lover's quarrel? I'm sorry, but it'll take a bit more time. This is absurd! We all know Barnes did it! Oh my god, this lady, bro. <laughs> she just really doesn't like Barnes, huh? Excellent! I'm certain you'll find proof that Barnes is innocent! Yeah, I'm working on it, bro. I'm trying to come in here and talk to your Growlithe. See what kind of special skills she's got. Oh, it's so sad. All right, let me guess. Your skill is just that you're loyal or something? She's got a very keen nose. Oh, never mind. What you smell, though? I guess we're not going to know. Low-key, I feel like that the, the whole investigation could be done. If we just had... If Growlithe really did have that keen of a nose... We can just have it go sniff the area around, you know, the, the crime scene, basically. And we would have been able to find out who did it that way. Wait, should we investigate this again? No, it says interview the Pokemon of the mansion. So the only other one left is Manectric, right? Did you check his food? Oh, wait, I didn't know if you could check his food. Can you? No, you can't. <laughs> Pikachu running animation's funny. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Oh my god, he's too tired to even keep running. Oh, yo, bro, come on. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, whatever. We're leaving him behind. Man. All right, my next trick. What you got for us, bro? What's your special skill? Hmm. Sense of sight, maybe? Since the other ones were... Oh, both. Good at tracking and sharp nose, but... He wasn't at the mansion, right? When the crime happened? He's working, so he can't leave his post. Oh. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Any other discoveries? Of course not. Alright. Well, that didn't help at all. Can't go in there. Uh, what about this cop? That's it, bro? Really? That's all the Pokemon at the mansion, right? Unless we need to ask Growlithe again, no? Okay, let's start deducing. Oh. Alright. Okay. Yes, we have Growlithe because uh I don't think Clefable's gonna be able to help us. Okay. Literally what I just said. Why don't we just have Growlithe go smell the crime seed and then find the Pokemon that way? Dude, Loki. If being a detective is this easy, I should go into being a detective, man. Like... <laughs> in the Pokemon world, of course. Not in real life. In real life, it would have been the butler, realistically. Or the wife. Wait. Oh my god, Pikachu's gonna ride on Growlithe's back? Yeah, let's do it! Is it another minigame? And by minigame, I mean yeah, we gotta spam the A button. Let's do this! Is it just me, or does Pikachu look like he shrunk? Like, th there's no way that Growlithe was that much bigger than Pikachu earlier. Sorry, but could you sit down for a sec? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, Detective Pikachu makes this a 10 out of 10. Let's go! 
Yeah! Oh. Want to show them your, your, your most recent favorite food? Mm -hmm. It is snack time. We got some... What kind of dumplings are these? Soup dumplings? Chicken soup dumplings with chili powder on top. Chili flakes. Chili something. Mmm. Oh. So good. Anyway. Look at this. You see this. He's riding on the Growlithe. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> he looks so happy. Yeah. Why, why, why are you riding on the Growlithe? Because his nose is so keen. And he's going to help us solve this investigation finally. Detective Pikachu, I mean, it's why the, it's the name of the game, so I should have expected it, but literally he makes this game worth it. The graphics are pretty cool. It's smoother. Yeah, chat's kind of 50-50 about it. I'm kind of like, I don't think it's the graphics, it's the lighting for me. Like, I feel like if this had the lighting of new Pokemon Snap, it would look really good. Dude, That's this is so great. cool though. Oh my god, what? This is amazing. <laughs> Alright, if this was the whole game, I, I would be I would be satisfied. Why is he looking over his head? He can't see mm -hmm. up from the top. Are you done investigating? No, bro, we just got started. What? Hmm. 10 out of 10 game. We can ride on Growlithe. I don't think this was in the first attack to Pikachu either, right? Alright, so we gotta sniff these feathers, I think. Or is it the feather that's in the cotton? It's one of them. Yo, what the heck? Why can't I sniff the feather? Hello? I'm not trying to sniff the jewel, bro. I'm trying to... What the frick do they want me to sniff then? Sniff the cop? <laughs> Sheesh. I'm investigating, but I know you humans don't understand me. That's pretty funny. Imagine you just you're the cop and you see this running around the mansion. Like, what would you think? And then it comes up to you, or they come up to you, and it's just like, Bika Bika. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of weird. Oh, hold R to sniff. Sorry, my camera was actually blocking that, but it says hold R to sniff right there. So let's do that. Oh, do I have to sniff, like, right here? Maybe? Oh. Huh? Bro, did you not... Is that not what I'm supposed to sniff, or what? Maybe we gotta sniff this. Sniff! Sniff the feather! My dude, what's happening? I'm so confused. I thought the feather was what I was supposed to sniff. I'm literally right on it. Okay. If I stand still and just hold R, he does that. Weird. Maybe something back downstairs? Oh, look at that! Ha ha! We got a little trail to follow now. It leads outside. Interesting. You would think that the trail would lead from the feathers upstairs and down, but... What do I know, man? I'm picking up Duckless scent around here. Ducklet always leaves this way when she takes walks and goes shopping. Her scent is still lingering. If we follow that smell, we should be able to find Ducklet. Let's track the scent carefully. Right. <laughs> I wish I could do a cuter Growlithe voice, but... I imagine like, uh, you know, you guys see Guardians of the Galaxy 3? There's like the Russian dog. Well, not exactly Russian, but that kind of voice for Growlithe I feel like would fit. Alright, where are we going? Back to the park? I don't think we need to be sniffing this whole time. Like, we can just, every once in a while, 
sniff and kind of get the gist of where it is. Oh, we can talk to Raboot again? Hey, Raboot. I'm busy planning out my drills for the day. That's so cool. Now that we're Detective Pikachu himself, we can actually see what all the Pokemon would say instead of him, like, telling us. Oh, wait, what? Oh, dude. I didn't even need the scent. I just saw the, the feathers rustling. Did you find her? Yes, I'm sure of it. Come on out, Ducklet. It's your pal, Clowlet. Finally! The freaking... Uh... Sorry, I couldn't resist eating another dumpling. <laughs> but finally, we found the, the, the guest of honor. Who's that on your back? Hi there, I'm the great detective Pikachu. And you're a friend of Growlitz? I'd like to think so. Putting that aside though, could you tell me why you're out here? Some strange humans were chasing me. It was really scary. I don't know what I could have possibly done to make them so upset. They think you may have been involved in a crime. Huh? What crime? Sometimes precious thing was stolen from the house. And you and Bonds are currently under suspicion. Say what? <laughs> Neither of us would ever do something like that. I know. I don't think it was you. I'll need to ask you some questions though to prove your innocence. I guess. Alright. Why are you here? Hmm. And what's in the bag? I feel like that would have been my first question. Literally like an hour ago I guessed that the jewel was in the bag. If it really is just in Ducklet's bag, like... Wait, I, yeah, I see the water, but why are you not in it? Like... I thought you liked the pond, not even the fountain. Whoa there, Growlithe! Aren't you a fire type? Pretty sure a bath's a bad idea. <laughs> oh, good point. Walking by the water side feels lovely. It's nice and cool without all the wetness. Sweet! I'll try that instead. Thanks, Ducklet. Bruh. Isn't it a thing that fire and rock types don't actually get hurt by water, but only by water attacks from Pokemon? Maybe I'm tripping, but I remember saying that or talking about it once on a stream. Like that, that Pokemon, as long as it's not like Charmander's tail, you know, where it like, if it goes out, it dies. But like a Growlithe, I'm pretty sure could take a bath. I may not look like it, but I'm actually a really good swimmer. Barnes always compliments me when I show off my fancy swimming. No one that lovely could possibly be a bad person. Alright? <laughs> like I said, I don't think he did it. Don't worry, Ducklet. We'll clear Barnes' name. And yours, too. At this point, I'm more sus about Ducklet than Barnes, bro. Okay, so we know. Yep. Now, where were you at the time of the incident? All I did was eat breakfast, like always. Then I got really sleepy. Not like always. Dude, I literally solved this crime an hour ago. But then I guess we still don't know who actually did it. I'm still thinking it was Larry. Because he was already upstairs, knocked out. But then who has the jewel? Uh, maybe Larry put it in his pocket? I don't know. I always eat with Crip. It was Cramorant after all! That was the dark blue feather! It was two different feathers! Cramorant is Turner's partner, bro! It was freaking T Timmy Turner did it! Hmm. Alright, come on, speed it along now. I want to solve this crime, bro. It, it was obviously... Like, now we know. Without a shadow of a doubt. Aw, oh, shucks. I didn't think I'd get found out. <laughs> you shouldn't steal things from people. Come on, show a little remorse. What, because of the pen from earlier? Or did she steal something else? Also, can we talk to Sarina? Oh my gosh, what? Is Sarina too cool to talk? Like, we couldn't talk to her as Tim either. It's kind of weird. Oh my god, Growlithe's tongue, dude, I can't. This is the cutest part of the game. Not just cute, this is the best part of the game, not just cutest. Like, look at this, bro. If this was the whole game, 
I'll be satisfied. Anyway, we now know Cramorant is Larry's partner. And there was a Cramorant feather. Oh, wait, we gotta follow Cramorant's set now. It's not anywhere around here. Oh, there it is. Purple scent. Okay. I'm guessing it's back in the main part of town. The Fountain Plaza. Charizard got dunked in a pool and was okay. Did that really happen? I know Ash took Charizard to like the Orange Islands. There's a lot of water there. I feel like, yeah, even fire Pokemon can probably go in the water. Golem can explode from any contact with water though. All right, well maybe not Golem, but I feel like there's plenty other fire Pokemon. Oh, Ash's Lycanroc got splashed by water and nothing happened, just anger. I mean, maybe it was angry because they got hurt. What, what the frick? Yo! They were right here this whole time? You kidding me? Please tell me this is a cutscene. I want to eat another dumpling. Oh no, there two of them are stuck together. Oh, it tore open. I'm, I'm having a food crisis right now. Okay, I got it. No! Right when I got it in my mouth, we got more dialogue. Come on. All right, you guys can read it yourselves, all right? Okay, I'm done. <clears throat> Wait, what's going on? Sorry to bother you when you just woke up, but you think you could answer some questions? Uh, who are you? <laughs> no need to be scared. I'm the Great Detective Pikachu, here to help you out. Great the head of what? Pikachu's my friend, and he has some questions for you, Cramorant. Uh, still don't know what's going on, but sure. Oh, what do you want to ask me, dude? Oh my god, does he have like the stoner voice? Okay, we gotta do the stoner voice for Cramorant now. About Turner. Can you tell me about him? Turner's my partner. He's a good dude, dude. Me and him go way back. Cramorant's always helping Turner out with his duties at the house. If Turner calls for me, I head right over, no matter where he is. I even go shopping with him, dude. If he needs something carried, I just swallow it all. <laughs> what? What, you swallow it? It's fine, dude. Just rub my back and I'll hork up whatever's filling my tum, lickety split. Ugh, more like lickety spit. Good one, Pikachu. Alright, so. Does he have the jewel? I'm guessing he ate the jewel, right? Whoa, really? I just thought it was the munchies. <laughs> After that, Turner woke me up and I flew right out of the house. Why'd he wake you up? Uh, cuz... What was it again? He said to go to the back alley, I think. You don't even remember that? Eesh, what a guy. I kind of fell asleep a few times on my way here, too. But in the end, I made it. I was so sleepy, but right when I was about to zonk out, I found this choice bed. A zonk out. Who says zonk out? Only a stoner would say zonk out, bro. <laughs> He's talking about me, by the way. Sorry, I don't I don't hear trash. Yeah, dude, like super squishy. <laughs> this guy's something else. If you wanted some sleep, wouldn't it make more sense to go home first? I'm sure Turner's worried about you. <gasps> Turner! That's right, I gotta get back to Turner, man. Any reason? Cause he's my partner, dude. Oh, uh, wait, did he say not to go back? Which was it again? Hey, don't look at me. I really think you should get back. Turner must be worried. So where were you? At the time of the incident, huh? You say you ate breakfast and got sleepy. Oh, I was starting to think it wasn't breakfast at all. All these Pokemon had a little toke of that Zonker Zaza. That's why they really passed out. That's why Cramorant's got the munchies now and ate the jewel. Dude, I cracked the case. Guys, if 
this isn't it, I'm retiring as the detective. <laughs> My tongue feels the same as when I swallow something big. Something big, huh? Interesting. Big like a jewel or bigger? Doesn't seem like the I mean the jewel was pretty big actually. In the one cutscene we saw it. Unless it's hidden inside Trubbish. Is that a thing? Can Trubbish put stuff inside of its trash bag? I mean I guess if it ate something, it would technically be the same thing, right? Alright. What are you doing here, Trubbish? Do we actually need to talk to you? Are you going to give us any information? Oh, about the trash. <laughs> Do you still have the trash that was stuck to Whimsicott? Yeah, I was saving it for a snack. Why, do you want it? I'd like to at least have a look at it. Sure, I guess. It's pretty crumpled up, but it looks like a note. Hey, it smells like the room's in a house. You mean Dennis's mansion? Open the window and after Bonds leaves, that'll be the signal. Once the window's open, I'll send Pontiac in with Whimsicott to cut the case. You should then be able to collect the jewel. If you play your part properly, you should be able to frame Barnes for every- Okay, so it's a handwritten note. It had to be for another human. Obviously, Cramorant can't read human paper. So, Turner was working with someone. Hmm. So the thief had an accomplice, huh? That must be why there were multiple Pokemon involved. Whatever the case, this is definitely a big clue. Noise. Got a note from someone. This is great, Pikachu. Sorry about this, Trubbish, but do you think we can have this piece of trash, please? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think the, the note was written for Larry Turner. And it was his accomplice that wrote it. So it was someone outside of the mansion. Someone that wasn't even anywhere close. Maybe someone by the pond? That sent the Whimsicott with the Pawniard? Like that weird scientist we met earlier? No. He didn't really seem like he would need to steal jewels. Like he works for the mayor. I'm sure he gets paid handsomely. So it's got to be a character we haven't met yet. Or it's Brad himself who's trying to frame Barnes. No, I don't I don't I don't see why Barnes would do it either. Was it the wife after all? I, don't, I feel like it has to be a character that we've met. It would be kind of weird or kind of a cop out if it was a random character we haven't seen before. But obviously Larry Turner is the accomplice. So he's at least somewhat responsible for this. Oh, what? Yes. <clears throat> when is she not yes. in a bad mood? No, I don't want to talk to you again, lady. Try and talk to Cliff Abel. Hold up. <laughs> We're not goofing around. <laughs> I mean, I look, I know it looks pretty silly, but trust me, this is serious detective business right here, all right? Mm -hmm. So, back to Tim. Let's show him the evidence. Mm -hmm. We found some incredible evidence. Really? Well, you see. Please tell me it's a cutscene. Oh my god, I want to eat my dumplings, man. <laughs> Good work, Pikachu. I think we're definitely closer to solving the case now. Yep. Now hurry up and open your notebook. Let's think this over together and organize all the info. Alright. So we got the note. We can definitely prove Barnes is innocent. I don't know if it's exactly the note, though. He's the only one who can unlock the jewel case, so it would have been impossible for him- What? Oh. No, because it was cut open. Ducklet only went out to go shopping. That means her partner Barnes likely had nothing to do with it. Or the note, which was written by someone other than Barnes. It said after Barnes leaves, that means the real culprit's someone else 
Yeah, that's gotta be it. Okay. I was thinking it could have been written for Barnes, but I forgot it says after Barnes leaves, so yeah, obviously it wasn't Barnes then. Boom! And under my camera, everything's been checked off now. So does that mean we're done with this investigation? I mean, we don't know exactly who it was other than Larry Turner was involved. When did Growlithe say the key disappeared? When she was sleeping, right? Not eating? Mm -hmm. But all the Pokemon fell asleep after eating. So, was it the chef? Whoever makes the food for the Pokemon? Hmm. Think back on what all the different Pokemon in the mansion told us. Did you notice anything they had in common? All of them ate breakfast! Oh, bro, come on. Yes, they all went to sleep. I get it. But they fell asleep after they ate breakfast. Isn't that also the common thing? There's no way that's a coincidence. Alright, so how can we prove it? Okay. Hmm. Clefable was playing in the mansion. Maybe all the Pokemon played so much. No! Ducklet went to the Hi Hat Cafe to buy coffee beans. Maybe the other Pokemon went with. It's neither of these, bro. We can't. There's gotta be something else, right? Uh, talk to her? Is there any way we can track the scent of the food? Is that what we have to do? Okay, let's see. Let, let's try that. I doubt that's what it actually is, but... Oh, look at that! We can! Haha! -ha! Wait, what the heck? Can I not sniff the food? Bro, I feel like that would be... Oh my god. That's not what it is, is it? I thought if we just sniff the food and then follow the scent where it came from, that would be it. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's what it is. It's a different solution. Whatever. What's up, Tina? And Hider, or Hater, is it worth it? I mean, I feel like if you just watch for like five minutes, you'll know whether or not you like this type of game. If you don't like what you're seeing right now, then you're probably not gonna like it because this, this is the gameplay right here. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know what else we could do to find out why the Pokemon were sleeping? Like, obviously it had something to do with the food. Is there any way we can go to the kitchen of the mansion? Whoa. No? Hmm. Unless maybe Maynectric found something out and now we can actually ask him? Look at the bowl with the human. Can you actually do that? Let me see. Oh, you can! Ah, there's some sort of powder! <gasps> Sleep powder! Oh my god! You could tell that just by looking, Pikachu? I'm a Pokemon, remember? Not to mention a great detective. <laughs> of course I can tell what kind of powder this is. Which means there was sleep powder in the food. I think we can be pretty sure of that. Now which Pokemon uses sleep powder? Ribombi back at the park? Okay. What? They eat berries? That's what Growlithe eats okay. for breakfast? Alright. I was expecting something more dog food looking, but... Boom! Someone put sleep powder in the food! <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's kind of weird though. Literally, 30 minutes ago, I tried to check the, the bowl, the plate of food. To see if there was something in it, but the game didn't let me. In that sense, I feel like I get it. They want you to go step by step. But like for players like me that are obviously a little bit more keen, you know, I am of course the greatest Pokemon detective to ever live. So I feel like they should just let you sequence break or like skip certain steps. Cause like I knew 
literally like I've been saying from the start, there was something in the food that put the Pokemon to sleep, but it wouldn't let you actually check the plate until now. Just a, just a little slight annoyance there. Anyway, I'm guessing it's Ribbon B. I mean, we might as well just go straight to Ribbon B because I'm 99% sure that's who it is. Am I right or am I right? Oh, there's no scent over here. What? Where was Ribbon B then? Wait, I lost the scent. Is Ribbon B not up here? Oh. Was it Licky Tongue? No, it's not Licky Tongue. Maybe Ribbon B's to the right. Oh yeah, okay, the scent was like, oh my god, yep, of course. What's up, Ribambi? You look panicked. Uh, my dear cutie fly went out to gather nectar, but they haven't come back yet. It never takes them this long. I'm so worried. What if something's happened? Wait, was it her kids? Were they coerced into doing it? Bro, that'd be crazy. Uh, let's see. Hey, Growlithe, think you can track the cutie fly with your nose? Definitely. I've already picked up the scent of the nectar. Then if we follow that scent, we should be able to find the cutie fly. Oh, okay, so it wasn't Ribombi then. It's the Bebiz! And there's two of them! Coming right up! Unless that's actually a side quest? No. Oh my god, whoa! Okay, that's a lot of sense going on now. Holy moly, okay, hold up. So is one of them pink, one of them yellow? Or are they both... Like... Wait, one of them goes left, the other goes right. Whoa, what the frick is Venonat doing here now? The scent stops here. Must be something around here. Let's look around the terrace. Yeah, duh, there's the freaking Venonat. This thing wasn't here before. Hunts with sparkling red eyes. Okay, about the sleep powder. Hmm. Nope, definitely not mine. Yeah, definitely not suspicious. How can you tell? I use my sleep powder to catch prey. It doesn't smell this soothing or beautiful. Nope, nope, not one bit. I see. I do believe this is Lilligant's fragrance. Oh yes, Lilligant? I would check one of the nearby hedges probably. No, definitely yes. To the greenery! Yeah, I don't think we need to ask Venonat anymore. I keep thinking Growlithe is farting <laughs> because of the trail? That's freaking funny, dude. Is it in here? It's too high for us to reach, though. Hey, cutie fly, can you hear me? Oh, so the cutie flies have nothing to do with it? I'm so confused, dude. Cutie Fly would low-key be like the perfect Pokemon to commit crimes with though. Like it's so tiny, no one would ever suspect. You just have it like buzz by with a little sleep powder. I'm like giving the, the, the criminals pointers out here. <laughs> like why would you use Lil again? It's so big and obvious. Actually, I'm going to talk to the Phalanx. What do you want? We're busy practicing our formations right now. Oh, sorry. They're always doing something or other around here. That's it? Man, I was expecting more from Phalanx. But wait, if this scent leads us to Venonat, and then it just said to check the hedges nearby, and then Growlithe just said to the greenery. So is it literally any type of bush that's around here? It's gotta be like a specific bush that looks really obvious, right? Oh, there's also another cutie fly missing. Oh, it's down here. Okay, hold up. Oh, and the scent picks up over here too. Cool, okay. We're on the right track again. Sort of. 
Okay, there's a cutie fly in here. So yeah, the cutie fly thing is a side quest after all. That we're gonna get absolutely no reward for, as usual. Awesome. Wait, what the frick does Licky Tongue have to do with it? What? Okay, I'm just not even gonna question it. Is okay. the other cutie fly shiny? I don't think so. Pikachu Growler, thank you so much! Both cutie fly came home safely! No need to thank us. Good job coming straight home, cutie fly. Sorry we worried you. So, we got nothing for that, right? <sighs> awesome. Alright, well at least we saw that the trail kind of picks up over here again. The yellow trail, that is. So there's gotta be some other greenery around. Unless this is just the original trail that led us to Cutie Fly. We already followed this scent. Yeah, that's not it. Do they mean the greenery by Venonat? Maybe by where Ducklet was? There's a couple of other bushes over here. I don't know where the Lilligant could be. This doesn't feel like where Lilligant would be though. Yeah, no, definitely not. Okay. I'm gonna say it's by the Venonat. And if not, I mean, I guess we can go talk to Venonat again. I didn't exhaust all the dialogue options, so maybe it's got something more to say, like a hint or something. Maybe. Whoops. Nope. Nothing at all, huh? Nope. That's just awesome. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> it was right by Benedat. Or not? Oh my god. Dude, literally, it's huge. How did that hide in the bush? There's no way this whole... Big old thing was in the bush. This Pokemon is known for having an aroma that calms the heart and mind. Sounds like every grass Pokemon at this point. You think I smell nice? You're sweet. Do you mind if we ask a few questions? Not at all. Okay. So about that sleep powder. Yes, that is her sleep powder. Nice. Do we need to ask her anything else? No? Okay. I see. Now we know the sleep powder was obtained. We're done! I didn't actually read any of that, but honestly I'm kind of over it. Not the game, but just... This specific... Uh, investigation. Hmm... I'm back. What did I miss? Hey, yo, what's up, Buzz? Who is doing emoji with me? What? Are we doing some communal emoji posting? Also, what is going on here? Wait, really? Oh my god, no way, bro! <laughs> Turner always prepares the food. Okay, it's Turner, bro. We know, we've been known it's Turner. Can we just, can we just deduce it's Turner now? Yeah. It's okay. Turner, bro. He prepares the food. It had to be him. Okay. I don't need to ask anyone else, bro. The only thing we don't know is who was his accomplice. Hmm. <laughs> Bro's been sus since the intro. Hold up, don't make me sound like Sniper Wolf here. Hmm. But seriously though, he's the only character 
that's new to the mansion. He didn't really act sus, but considering he's newly working at the mansion, he's the only one that would likely commit a crime or not be attached to the owner in any way. About Cramorant. Excuse me. You've got a friend in me. Huh, I see. I hope you don't think I was hiding the fact or anything. I was just afraid he might become a suspect. I did tell the police, of course. Sure you did. It's been a while since I've seen him, actually. Worryingly so. Where could he have gone? Oh, we just saw Cramorant walking back toward the mansion. Why that little... I told him to stay put! Stay put? Why'd you tell him that, Mr. Turner? Oh, uh, I just didn't want him to go out of, out of his own. I've been so worried that he might have gotten mixed up in the crime somehow. Thank you so much for hiding him. It's such a huge relief. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. What about Pawnee Art, though? I mean, yes, I think you've cracked it. So it was a Pawnee Art that punched you, Mr. Turner? Uh, yes, most certainly. Wait, we actually don't know that still. Right? Unless it was his own Cramorant that punched him so somehow. Hmm. Or it, was, it wasn't a red Pokemon at all. And Ponyard was just the one that sliced the thing. Cramorant is the key to solving this case. All that's left is to ask him ourselves. Let me guess, Cramorant ditch town or something? Oh boy. I think I saw someone ask earlier, I missed it, but if the game is in other languages, and yes, I do believe, uh, maybe not from here, but from the main menu, yeah, okay, oh wait, maybe, oh yeah, you can't do it from here, but in the main menu, you can change the, both the subtitles, or like the text, and the voices of the game, so you can put the game all in Japanese if you want. I debated it. But, I like the, the, the English voice for Pikachu. Well, I would rather it be Danny DeVito, like I said, but... I still like how deep it is. Alright, here's prime suspect number one! Why is Cramorant the only one that feels so unwell? Wait, huh? He's still sleeping? Probably because he ate the freaking jewel, holding it in his tummy. He must have really overeaten, or he swallowed some his digestive system can't hand. <gasps> Wait a second! It's almost like we said this an hour ago! A missing jewel, and now Cramorant's full belly. And now we get a cutscene, man, I should have saved my thinking, dumplings. I figured it out! I still got some chili flakes, though. Uh, a bolt of brilliance! Wow! <laughs> Where did those magic carp come from? What the frick? The stolen jewel we seek is right over there. Is he pointing at Cramorant? Bro, Tim. Tim, are you dense, bro? Come on. There is no way Tim hasn't figured it out yet. I mean, I guess Tim is supposed to be us. Wait, really? Oh my god. Wait. <gasps> Guys. It's obviously in the Whimsicott's cotton! Oh man. I really thought it was in there. I guess I'm not as genius of a detective as I thought. Okay, hold up. The jewel was most certainly taken out of the mansion and a Pokemon was used to do it. <gasps> then it had to be none other than Ducklet! Obviously, it's, it's in Ducklet's- oh. Oh, it's not Ducklet. Okay, I'm gonna stop pretending to be stupid. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. It's Cramorant! And the jewel's inside its belly! Guess we gotta cut it open. Better call up Pawniard. Ain't no way I'm gonna dig the jewel out of Cramorant's crap. Okay. Like, it's either coming out the tummy, mm -hmm. or it's coming straight out the mouth. Bro, I'm not gonna reach down Cramorant's gullet either. That's gross. We gotta make it, like, throw up or something, right? Oh god, they're gonna dick through Cramorant's poop. This is it. Let's take care of business. 
Just pray he spits it out for real. Everyone, thank you for coming. The sudden conference had better be important. I hate this lady. It is. We've identified the real culprit. Yeah. Have you now? It's you, Mr. Dennis. Yes. Mr. Barnes isn't the one who stole the jewel. Oh. You ate the jewel. <laughs> who did it then? I'll explain everything from the beginning. No, really? Let's start with how the culprit entered oh. the jewel storage room. All right, fine, whatever. There Recap. There were no signs of forced entry on the door, so the culprit must have used the key. Yep. But put Growlithe, Growlithe to sleep. Was guarding the key. Took the key no like a one sleeping but my baby. Or Barnes could have opened taken the door. From Growlithe. Yes, exactly. So how did they? I guess it must have been Barnes then. There's no way they're really explaining it. No, like, we it literally wasn't. just played through all of this. You see, the culprit had a trick up their sleeve for taking the key. Oh, okay, we actually have to answer. Uh, they broke down the door! No, bro, who would say that? The culprit used sleep powder to make Growlithe fall asleep. And after that, they took the key. Oh! Do you have evidence of that? Why, of course, sir! Of Go course. look in the doggy bowl! Take a close look at Growlithe's food bowl, Inspector. You'll find traces of Lilligan's sleep powder in it. Just it say it's the of wife course. and gaslight? <laughs> so that's how the culprit got into the jewel storage oh. room. Loki. possibly have cut open I feel that like Mr. Dennis would be happier with, with the butler. Time. Yeah, good point. Oh my god, this guy's still pretending like it wasn't him. They could have if they had Pokemon accomplices. Ain't no way. Pokemon? Ain't no way, bro, is still pretending like it wasn't him. Uh, can't believe we gotta do this. The culprit somehow used Whimsicott and Ponyard. And got Ponyard to cut <laughs> the open the The whole case. room's got IQ of room temperature what? level. How is that even possible? What's up, little bubby? Welcome. We may understand now how the jewel was stolen. Will we get voice acting in mainstream but games? That doesn't necessarily prove that Barnes is innocent. I mean, if it ends up being like this game... Actually, I do have proof that Mr. Barnes is innocent. Okay, I'm not gonna say it's bad. It's... It's, it's mid, kind of like the graphics. Like, some of the voice actors are good. Some of them are okay. I wouldn't say there's been anyone really bad. Well, there's been like one that I didn't like so far. But some of the voice actors are pretty good. So I can't say it's that bad. Uh, wait, what am I answering right now? Ducklet's bag! Oh yeah, the note, right? We discovered this note in a Trubbish's possession. A uh, uh, note? <laughs> this guy. The culprit jotted down their whole plan. They wanted to frame Mr. Barnes for the crime. I like the music too. Then I think the music is better than the first Detective Barnes Pikachu. Innocent. So who's the real culprit? It's your wife. The real culprit is right <laughs> here with us. What well, do you mean? Are you serious, dude? We should blame the wife. <laughs> oh no way! What happens if? <laughs> There's no way the game's gonna let us. Oh, that's not right. Oh, come Based on! on our the culprit is clear, isn't it? Really? Alright, fine. It's Sanjeev! He ate the jewel oh, himself! That's not right. Based on our deductions, the Alright, fine, okay. I can only pretend to be dumb twice. I can't do it three times to you guys. Drop. It's Mr. Turner, you're the culprit. What? Oh, me? No way! But, but but I'm a victim of this crime. Ponyard punched me. Okay. It punched you, huh? Where's your stab Ponyard wound, sir? Has blades for hands, and I don't see any cuts on you. Yeah. That's right. Imagine he rips really off his shirt. The culprit, He's got a hole in his jewel? chest. I don't have it on me, and I haven't set foot outside the mansion. Where's the jewel? Isn't it obvious? It's with a Pokemon. 
What? The music is carrying this right now so hard. Like, I cannot believe they're making us run through all of this again. Like, we already of solved the don't case. Have the stolen jewel. You hid it. In Cramorant's belly. <laughs> uh, excuse me? Cramorant's maybe Turner's partner, but even so. Where is that Cramorant anyway? Mr. Turner, you clearly put a lot of thought into your plan. But when we investigated the crime scene, we found a Cramorant feather. And you underestimated Growlithe's sense of responsibility. Imagine we had to start all over if we failed. Oh my god. I just wanted to see what would happen if you picked the wrong one. And as you saw, literally nothing. Now I want to see this guy dig through Cramorant's crap. Like... <laughs> As punishment for your crime, Cramor. you'll be sifting through Cramorant crap for years. All right, let me handle this. Wait, what is that on its back? Huh? Oh my god. That's all you had to do is scare it? There it is. The Aurora drop. Okay. And the key to the storage room too. I'm afraid you can't talk your way out of this, Mr. Turner. <sighs> I'm so confused. I was so close to living the easy life. What I was that on Cramorant's back? Is that not part knew. of the game? Or like, is that like a placeholder? Like, you know how in Scarlet and Violet, sometimes you see the little Ultra Ball in the middle of the room? That looks so out of place, right? Anyway, I, I hope that that guy ends up going to jail, man. Like. Come on, Pokemon, even though it's Pokemon, it's for kids. You gotta show kids there's consequences to your actions. Goodness gracious, you of all people. Do you really think so little of the Aurora Drop? What are you saying, Claudia? Didn't you tell me yourself that you hoped whoever looked for the Aurora Drop would not only see its beauty, but also cheer up and encouraged by it? Are you really gonna give up on that hope just because of a stroke of bad luck? Wouldn't that be a terrible waste? Don't you agree, Barnes? Indeed, madam, as you say. Mr. Dennis, your plan to donate the jewel was most certainly not a mistake. But please believe in yourself and do what you think is best. So he's not gonna donate it? Oh? Clefable! <laughs> just had to chime in there, huh? I just don't want to deal with you moping around like this for the rest of our lives, that's all. <laughs> I see. Thank you, Claudia. This incident has forced me to reconsider, shall we say, some of my views. Clefable, Ducklet, Growlith, let's all eat together from now on. What? Ironic, huh? Cramorant swallowed the jewel, and now you've got to swallow the bitter consequences. Well... Let's go. Where was this guy a second ago? Yeah. All right. Well. Oh, never mind. Look at that, guys. Are you all right? It wasn't a play, pl placeholder. It's the Tesseract. Oh, shoot. Why is he swallowing it again? Don't just stand there. Hurry up and grab it. Oh my right. god. Okay, see that voice actor ain't it, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shoot that duck. Oh well. So much for the jewel. How could this be happening? Sanjeev. Turner! Okay, at this point it wasn't Hold him, on. bro. I swear I had nothing to do with that. It's got to be that scientist with the purple hair. The there was a purple glow, purple hair. Dude, it's... Knowing this game so far, like... Hey, man, not to be that guy, but why wouldn't Pikachu just, like, shock it? And that's Detective Pikachu in a nutshell. Thank you guys for watching, and, uh... Okay, I'm kidding, Growlithe, I'm kidding. You did a great job. It should have been a quick time Pikachu. event, low-key. Look! 
Like, shoot the oh. duck! <laughs> Are you leaving Imagine already? they have you aim electric or uh, Pikachu's road. Thunderbolt. That'd be sick. Say, Tim, did you notice Cramorant's back? Yeah, there was something glowing on it. I'm surprised I've no one else noticed that, like bro. It. I wonder, maybe Turner didn't know what was going on. Like, before something it activated. This is just the beginning. It seemed pretty sketch that Cramorant had a little Rubik's Cube on its back. Like, that's not a normal Pokemon thing. But no one seemed to care. I'm home. Tim's back! Oh, God. Well, you sure are home late. Oh, whoa, whoa, what? Good evening. Where did she come oh, from? and who is this? Man, it's bringing the girls home? Rachel. It's nice to meet you. Oh, it did look kind of like a GameCube, too. A little is square. Is she your girlfriend? Oh, my God. Huh? Duh. Well, if only. not exactly girlfriend, you know. We don't, we don't like to put labels on it. <laughs> it's 2023, Rachel. Sorry to barge in so suddenly. I was hoping to get some advice from the great detective here. I didn't realize his family was visiting, though. Welcome, Rachel. We didn't mean to startle you. Sophie and I just arrived in Rhyme City yesterday. Oh, that's why they were missing from the first movie, huh? Yeah, I don't... Wait, so they have a house here. But they don't live here? Or is this just Tim's house? It said Tim's apartment. So they're just staying at our apartment, I guess. Okay. See, this is another thing I mean with the lighting. Like, Pikachu actually looks okay. Well, I would still make him a little bit darker, moodier, but he kind of has like a yellow... Okay, obviously he's yellow, but I don't know how to explain it. I guess it kind of looks more like he's lit for this scene. Whereas the sister is very clearly too bright. Compared to Tim, I feel. And I don't just mean because she's like, really pale. I don't know, she just looks really like, out of place. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we finished our first yes. major quest. I guess now we've just got to spend some time with the family. And if it wasn't for one last thing I want to check out, I would probably end the stream here. But I do kind of want to check out the voices in the other languages. So let's go ahead and save. Let's go to the title screen. I think you should be able to change the voice. Yeah, display language and voice language. So let's make it- Oh, it's- there's only English and Japanese? There's a lot of options for subtitles though, for the text. But I guess only English or Japanese for the actual voice uh, voice acting. Alright. I mean, we're not actually gonna hear them until there's a cutscene though. So I hope they talk. <laughs> after all this stuff. Oh! We already heard her! So ne? So ne? That means okay? You shook a dick to you? So is a what she was so sorry. Alright, this is a million times better. You got that I shouldn't have to take She said, Ada, it's over, bro. The weaves are, oh my god. Don't bro, Tim's voice, what? Go is just a set of money. Tim's voice is legit! She said the yata! Is she gonna say mac and cheese in English? That'd be funny. Oh my god, he did! <laughs> Macaroni cheese! <laughs> oh, I'm weaving out, I'm sorry. Umai. He said the thing, bro. Yo, the, the way the spoon went right through the mac and cheese, though. Wait, what the frick? Is he gonna face plant into it? Yo, that's some hot mac and cheese. That's that's a at least a first degree burn. Or third degree? What's like the least burn? First or third? I don't know. 
Yo, all the reviewers for this game must have played it in English. Like, just turn it to Japanese. Instantly, the game goes up three points. What? Yo, that's actually crazy. Hold up, we're getting some real. What? I predicted this from the start. I said the dad walked out. No way, that's actually the truth. This man actually walked out on them. Wow. I guess sometimes the truth is just the most obvious answer, huh? Yeah, low-key, I might just keep the game in Japanese from now on. <laughs> the only voice I like more in English is Pikachu himself, just because it's funny to hear him with such a deep voice. But the rest of them just sound so much better. I've heard that before, though. Like, I re like you know, there's always the discussion of, like, dubbed or subbed anime. And people always say subbed is better because like the original Japanese audio, but there's like a thing people say that like, if you know a third language, for example, for me, Spanish, watching anime in Spanish, like cartoons growing up, Yu-Gi-Oh sometimes would be in Spanish, Pokemon would be in Spanish. I don't know if it was, I, I, see, I don't know if personally I found that cringe or bad. So like, I guess my point is like Japanese people hearing the anime voices or the, the, the Japanese people hearing the Japanese voices or wait, no, Japanese people hearing the English voices, would they think it sounds cool because they don't know or that's not their first language? I guess that's kind of the theory I'm going with here. Oh, man. Pikachu. Whoa, you too? <笑>ミュウツー。よ。あなたたちに伝えたいことがあります。数日前、洞窟にいたところ、ポケモンたちに襲われました。あ、ニュースで見ました。彼は。<笑> Dude, no way Mewtwo's gonna be the one to break the news. Oh shoot, for a second I thought he was gonna be behind us. Like Harry, not not the B-Girls. Wait, what? Why would Beedrills go after Mewtwo? I mean, I guess they're bug type. Even Mewtwo would probably die if all those things twin needled at the same time. <gasps> Dude, it's him! It's. Uh, oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Was that Harry? Mewtwo's脚が体につけられていた。そして、Mewtwo's脚が体につけられていた。that definitely looked like that scientist guy that we met earlier, but it might be Harry. I don't know. Would be a pretty crazy plot twist if our dad was the villain. But most likely it was the the creepy scientist guy. Oh. But yeah, dude, the Japanese just makes it sound so much better. Again, it could just be because I speak English, so like, I guess I can tell more so when the English voices sound fake or off, versus when you're hearing it in a language you don't know, you can't tell what's good voice acting or not. It just, I mean, yeah, you just don't understand, so. My theory was, like, Japanese people hearing the English voices, they might think it sounds cool, because they don't, they wouldn't be able to tell if it's good voice acting or not, right? Unless they know English, of course. And I guess that goes for anyone that's non-English speaking, not just Japanese. But I'm using Japanese as an example because like we're used to watching anime 
and it just sounds cool by default. <laughs> Most of the time. I mean, there are some voices that sound really stupid, even in Japanese, but it's usually the dumb, like, goofy characters, so it kind of fits. But yeah, that wraps up chapter one, I believe. Uh, I don't know what this is. The Daily Crossword? Sure. Hmm. It's surprisingly challenging, so I look forward to it every day. Crosswords are written by readers. Wow, I'm impressed by the people who can make these. Okay, Tim, let's fill it out. This Pokemon catches prey with its long tongue. Dude, it's literally the... Wait. That freaking girl! She writes the crossword! Dude, we gave her the answers for the crossword! Wait, we don't actually have to do this, right? Oh, okay, there we go. Head out whenever you're ready, is what it says in the top right. Is that an applin on the table? <laughs> it's just a normal apple. For a second, I thought our mom was, uh, you know. Yeah, okay, even in Japanese, I don't like the sister. I'm sorry, that's the only one that I'm still not about. Wait, what the heck? Your Pikachu's so funny. Funny? Not cute. The way Sophia reacts to stuff is a bit different from everyone else. <laughs> Maybe she can understand Pikachu too. Probably not. But I mean, come on. Look at this Pikachu, bro. <laughs> he just looks like a little goofster. We should get going. While we're out, want to buy more coffee beans? Our supplies running low. Okay, okay. Anyway, we're heading out now. Bye! Is it officially chapter two? Because, like, that's when I was going to call it a wrap for this stream, but... We haven't seen the title drop yet. So, let's at least see what is coming up next. Just in case any of you guys were interested. Oh my god, I thought she was calling us. Oh! Wait, I think we knew this already. She's the mayor's daughter, duh. I'll give you guys a little teaser of what's coming up next in case you want to buy the game and play it for yourselves. Tim. Everything okay? Let's just go inside. I mean, this does seem like a better stopping point right now, TBH. Because we're kind of starting into another plot point here. But I'm probably not going to be streaming this again. I mean, I'm going to play through the game by myself eventually, but... Because I'm probably not going to stream it, I feel like I should play a little bit more. But then again, I also... Don't know if I care as much about this girl's story. Oh, look at that. Even she knows. <laughs> She's like, let's talk about the jewel, all right? Yeah, okay. Right now, he's conducting research at the Southern Ruins. We'll have to travel quite a ways to see him. Yeah, those ruins are pretty far from here. Fieldwork is a huge part of mineral archaeology. Once the professor sets out, he usually doesn't come back for several months. What? Does that mean we're going to go off for months? That's what I was actually curious about, is if the game will only be in Rhyme City or if we get some different locations. I figured there's got to be different locations. It'd be pretty boring if we just... everything was here in this city. Ah, oh, there it is! Chapter 2 officially begins, and we do get to go... <gasps> Rowlet! Oh, to Bronferno too? Damn, they're just blessing me with my favorites right here. <laughs> okay, actually, Japanese Pikachu is growing on me. They gave us the round boy, they gave me Monferno. Look, even the Pissimians in the background are cold. That's so cool, the little attentions to detail. 
Alright, let's go up the hill to the ruins. And that's where we'll wrap it up. We'll just show off a little bit of this second area. Look at this little goof, oh my god! Rowlet! This sure is a cute Pokemon. How did we get here, by the way? Didn't the girl say this was very far away? Like, I mean, I guess we're old enough to drive, but still. No cutscene, no little transition, like on the train or in the car. Oh, that guy looks sus. He's got a Zigzagoon. Is a Zigzagoon cold too? Oh no, it's shivering! Oh no, poor little Zigzagoon! Rock Smasher, wow! Well, that's one way to describe it. Fossils, huh? You really think you'll find some here? I mean, isn't this like an archaeological site? I'm sure he'll find something. Wait, what did he say? Do you happen to know of any Pokemon capable of breaking this- My Zigzagoon usually helps me with this sort of thing. But the little fella's poor paws are frozen numb. Oh no! Okay, that makes more sense. I thought he he just didn't know that Zigzagoon could rock smash. I'm gonna buy and stream this game myself. Go for it, Boost. Someone's gotta do the Lord's work that I'm not gonna do. <laughs> it looks kind of anxious. Do you think there's something wrong? Hey, leave Annie. Something bad happened. Uh, leave, leave Annie. I see. I'm sorry because some swad loons still haven't come home. Leave Annie's gone looking for them a lot already, and I can't find them anywhere. That's sad, dude. Two swad loons we gotta find, huh? So like the Ribombi side quest we had in the previous chapter. Except we don't actually get like a scent. Oh, you just gotta deliver leaf clothes. Okay. This is so cool though, how all the Pokemon are cold. I didn't even mean it like a pun, because they're, they're literally cool, but... I don't know, I just like seeing Pokemon doing different actions, different uh, reactions, I guess you could say. Because that's the one thing I feel like open world Pokemon has been slacking. Like, they have the ability to do so many cool animations like this, but they usually don't. It's always the same reused animations. Oh. So like, I hope in the next game, Gen 10, I guess, the Pokemon interact with each other or like interact with the environment in more ways. Which like, they have been doing a little bit in Scarlet and Violet, but mm. they could definitely go further with it. <laughs> Ursaring just doesn't even care though. It's like, yeah, I mean, yo. Is that an Applin though? Or sorry, Driplin? Obviously no, it was a berry. It kind of looks like Driplin though, like the color. What the heck? What are these ruins? Why are they holding up the Clefairy like that? <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. Where's Gordon anyway? Huh? Looks like someone's here. Oh, that's... Hmm? That's the professor? Oh, Professor Gordon's assistant. I was about to say, man. Curry enthusiast. That's me. Literally me. Sorry to interrupt during your work, Chris. My name's Rachel and this is Tim. I'm a student of Professor Gordon's. Oh, what brought you all the way out here? Something we want to ask Professor Gordon about. The professor? Oh, dear. He entered the ruins two days ago and, well, as you can see, he hasn't come back yet. Huh? Whoa! What are you saying? Oh, the professor's always like this. He absolutely assessed with his research in the ruins. I'm pretty sure he's deep inside them right now with his partner Slowpoke. As much as I wish I could check on him, there's some kind of trick to opening this door. He has to trip some sort of mechanism to open it, but I can't figure it out. He usually makes it back without issue. I'm sure he's fine. Hey. In case you haven't noticed, it's freezing. Can you really afford to be so carefree about this? I guess you gotta figure out how to use the mechanism. Okay, Chris. We'll go look for Professor Gordon and his slowpoke. You? 
I'm not sure that's the best idea. Don't worry, we got this. Damn, I, I, I think I went too far into this chapter. Now I want to see what's inside the ruins, dude. Oh my god. But I do have to end it at some point. And uh, if it wasn't for my trip coming up soon, I'd probably just stream this once, like one chapter per day, because I think there's only four chapters in, or sorry, six chapters in this whole game. So you can do one chapter a day and finish the game in six days, but yeah, no, I, uh, I'm not going to be able to do that, unfortunately. So if you guys enjoyed this game, this playthrough so far, I recommend checking out the game, downloading it and playing it for yourselves, even though you won't get the amazing voice acting that I have provided, of course. <laughs> but I do recommend switching it to Japanese if you're a weeb like me. It sounds way cooler. Damn, we got more thick cotton Pokemon. The heck does Eldegoss want? The <laughs> shore is fluffy. All right. Well, that's where we're going to wrap it up. So again, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in, checking out this game. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. If you got it for yourselves, if you would buy it after watching this. And uh, if you finish the game... Uh, maybe let, let me know how it ends, because I don't know if I'm going to finish it. 